Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games <laughs> and the most pampered Atari cats. Uh, yes. Put a cat on a pillow. Oh, uh, I don't know, know if you can actually see. You can see him. Can't see that he's on a pillow. No, but he's, he's on a pillow. He's on a pillow. Oh, what a princess cat. <laughs> he is. Uh, tonight, <laughs> tonight we have some Atari 8-bit games. There you go. Put up the sign. <laughs> Yeah, we have two of them tonight. First one being On Escape, which might be a play on words of No Escape backwards. Oh. We'll see. Uh, by Vortador Games, um, by Fandal, Pseudographics, and Poison. And we have Pseudographics in the chat excellent. tonight to help us out if we get stuck. It's excellent. a point and, <laughs> point and click game. Oh, excellent. Lots of fun. Love point and clicks. And later on, we're going to be taking a look at Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny okay. port to the Atari 8 bit system. Spoiling the cats is one of the eight virtues. <laughs> yeah. if that's right. Yeah. We're on our way to being an. There he is. A virtuous avatar. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank the uh, Twitch subscribers who help support the show. 8 bit poet, Alda Fur, Archimage, Arms Guard, Code, Atari 800, XL, Rose, Atari 1974, Atari Age, BR, Poke Up, Captain Matt, 2D, Chelsea, Johnny Mao, Charles, Will, Colonel Lama, Cuban, and Snow, Dianoid, Dan, DVC, Dr. Mook, House, Great Defender, Ground, Trooper, Roger, Rapper, Johnny, WC, Kabubara, Kabuto, Kabuto, Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vedic, Veltifer, Lambda Express, Lawrence, GTZ, Mark, Yannis, Mark, Space, Sing, Metal, Atari, Medic, Metal, Metal Level, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Sal, Latau, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Star, and Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Pack, RPG, Koag, R, and Schwartz, Raymond C, RC7, Randy Ghost, Sopranos, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Suits, Smitty B, Spoke, Spiceware, Smears, Teleprompter, Welsh, Medi, 89, Tiki Dan K, Track MD, 2600X, Hen X, and if you'd like your name, scrolling beside Tanya there, help support the show, you can, you just <laughs> click subscribe. It is free with Twitch, and then you don't have to see pesky ads anymore. No. Nope. And you pay nothing to get rid of ads. And it helps feed these cats. Yes, who are Without very your donations, silly right now. <laughs> meow. These cats meow. will yeah. surely perish. Time. Yes. Yum. Oh, yum, Dr. Moon Cows oh, is helping you, Dr. out. Cows. Oh, good. They were about to perish. Yes. Because... They were going to just oh, spontaneously combust out of hunger. They do. They, they're in <laughs> dire need of snacks. Dire me. Oh, 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 who is that? Gray Cat got it first. Atari's Atari on. got one. Oh, oh no. my god. Kicked out the oh. door. Okay. One to one. It's tied up. I'll wait for Atari to come in and then They're shut clearly the door. going crazy. Correct. They are. They were going crazy. Oh, oh, <laughs> that didn't ding. That right. didn't ding. Oh, that didn't no. ding either. Try again. Oh, okay, that's one. A sprite two to oh, one. Oh, two two. Two two. It's tied up. Ooh, Can Atari keep it going? Atari. Oh, oh no, that didn't ding. That didn't count. Oh, oh three two for sprite. Three two. Oh, three three for Atari. He's keeping up today. Yeah. Oh my god. He doesn't eat it as fast though. Oh, oh no. Four three. I'm gonna start for throwing sprite. it across the room for sprite then. Oh, almost. Oh. Five oh, three for no. sprite. Pulls ahead. Hit it! Hit it! Hit Atari! It. Atari! No. No, gotta make a ding. Oh, 6-3 oh, no. for Sprite! Oh. Come here. Come here. Pulls right way there. ahead. He's trying. He's thinking about it. 6-4! Six, 6-4. Four. Six, four. Six, four oh, no! For don't, let, don't let him get it. No. For Atari. 6-4 uh, for Sprite. 6-4 for Sprite. Go, Atari. Oh. Go. Sprite thinks he's lost one. He may have oh. lost it. That's... That's unfortunate. Oh, 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 Sprite 7 4. And Atari's still thinking about it. Come on. Oh, oh 8 no. 4 for Sprite. Atari's having a Atari, rough go with it today. Atari had a really good start. Like, yeah. super strong. Oh. 8 5. 8 5 for Sprite. Oh, almost smacked it out of the room. Oh, nine. 9 5 for Sprite. It is game point. Oh, he's lost it under the wheel. He's having some trouble. Is he getting it? Oh, he's still having some trouble. Oh. Oh, still having trouble. Oh, oh. eight, six, nine, six? Nine, six. Nine, six for Sprite. Sprite is still digging out that treat. <laughs> nine, six for Sprite. Sprite is still trying to get that. Rather than trying to get the next treat, he's still trying it. Nine, seven. <gasps> Still game point. Has Sprite given up on that treat? No, he's going back for the treat. <laughs> it's 9-7. It's a tense game. He wants that treat. 
and Atari sniffing the computer over, <laughs> over there. No, yeah. he's coming back. Can he make it 9-8? Oh, oh, it's too again. soft. Try, Try again. again. Smack it hard. Smack it. Oh. 9-8 oh, for my Sprite. Goodness. He's catching up. Oh, and oh, it's over. It's he got over. His ten. It's 10 8 for Sprite. I'll give one. That extra. was good. That was good. No, 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 no you're no. not getting more. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. There's one That's for you, and there's a, there you go. Wow, what a nerve-wracking so game. So close, Charles, so close. <laughs> this is intense. It was very close. Thank you, uh, Dr. Moo Cows, for feeding these clearly starving cats. Starving. Yeah. Desperate. Desperate very, starving. Very abused. <laughs> very neglected cats. Yeah. Um, good game, Dr. Moo. Very Moves. good game. <laughs> He almost had it, correct? He did. He was catching up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he was almost there. I actually get it. Stop bothering the chair. Oh, it, he, always, he never got it? No. But he did give up on it, I guess. Yeah. Mm. So, um, uh, yeah, now it's the two games. It's time to open the mail. Mm. Something very exciting today came in the mail. All the way from Australia. Oh, there's your Australia. other one, too. Let me make sure I'm not giving away anything here. <laughs> Let's see. In, uh, oh. No, I'll face okay. it that way. Excellent. Okay, got some packing. I did have to open it beforehand. Just, just in to case. make sure what it Just in case. We've got some stickers here. Ooh, they're shiny. AtariGamer.com sticker. Ooh, that's a shiny sticker. And K Retro sticker. Nice, Ooh, nice. Bubble wrap, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Always all exciting. The bubble wrap from Australia. All the all the bubble wrap, anything wrapped in bubble wrap is going to be good. And it so. says Lynx Jam 2021, a game jam for the Atari Lynx. Let's make something scary. <gasps> Sticker for that. This is very exciting. And then some foam. Good evening, a cardboard box. Yeah, I have a cardboard box right here. <laughs> and let's bring it out. Oh, oh what could this be? Foam. Foam. <laughs> It oh, oh. is oh. the missing piece of the puzzle, Yay. the Atari Lynx. Uh, yeah, it is right way up. Um, along with a uh, multi-cart El Cheapo SD flash cart from Ben Ben. Yes. And it also came with um, a cable adapter now this is a consoleized <laughs> atari lynx it is very very special i believe one of a kind right now wow. um so this is a joystick adapter that goes on the links and it uh attaches magnetically i know i've shown all this before yeah and it attaches magnetically to the bottom that is cool <laughs> the circle is now and <laughs> it uses uh, Sega Master System controllers. Nice. So you can use two buttons on this um, and use the A and B on the Atari Lynx. Mm. And it also has another magnetic attachment at the bottom for VGA out so that I can direct this through the capture card and we can play this as a consoleized Atari Lynx. So just in time for the Atari Home yes, Awards. Yes, so we can play some Lynx games. So we can play the uh, Lynx games that are nominated. That's awesome. That are coming up. The circle is now complete, stuff. yes. Uh, very nice looking uh, Lynx Model mm -hmm. 2. Um, it's also modded for um, 5 volt mm -hmm. um, to power it, so it doesn't need to look, run on batteries, constantly swapping batteries. Um, and uh, yeah. It's great. And it, you don't have to plug in uh, the power either. So it's modded so it can work anywhere in the world. Nice. Uh, under the five, five volts. So I'm just going to show this quickly to you. I know I have done this before, I believe, um, because I had to send it back because there were some issues with it. So there are the magnetic adapters that are on the bottom of the console. There's the five volt. Eh, eh. Can't really see it. Uh, it sticks out there, right there. And uh, other than that, it uh, looks uh, perfectly normal, like a normal Lynx. Very nice. Yep. And you press the. He's very excited, by the way. And you press the. Uh, <laughs> you want to play. 
backlight. Are you a lynx? Yes, you're a lynx. Yes, he is. Yes, you yes. press the backlight button <laughs> to give the VGA output. Mm. Um, where can you get one of those? Well, you can get one of those at... Maybe. I Maybe. don't know. <laughs> go, go look there. He may not be offering it yet. Yeah. Or ever. I'm not sure. Um, K-Retro. Mm -hmm. um, so just search for Lynx and K-Retro. And uh, that's... Did you push things down the back? Don't push things down the back. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, a huge thanks to Igor for uh, doing that for me. Nice. And uh, hey! He's attacking the star. Don't attack the star. And so that we can uh, play Lynx on the mm -hmm. show now and play the Lynx Homebrew, show off the nominated games for the Atari fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, there was an update today from Al Yaruso, and it is right here. He posted oh, a day ago. Um, somebody says he's been waiting for the boxed complete version of um, some Champ Games games. Nice. And he responded, will be in the store this week. I spent Ooh. most of the weekend working on the store entries for all the new 2600, 5200, and 7800 games. So that uh, bodes well for all the new games to come to the Atari Age store. So Very everybody's been waiting nice. patiently since mid-October. Yep, yep. Um, so they should be very soon. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, it is the fifth <laughs> annual Atari Homebrew Awards, uh, amazingly enough. Yeah. yeah. We've been uh, doing this for five years now, and in a couple of weeks, we'll be on our sixth year. <laughs> so we need a cake. We, we do a need cake. a cake. Or a cupcake. Well, I'll make a cake. Yeah. Ooh, I'll find a good cake. Big five on it or something. Yeah. Uh, Pseudo graphics, yes, there is a, a touch of rum in my coat. Just a touch. Cheers. A splash. Just a, a drop, splash. Just a splash. Just a bloop. Yeah, <laughs> always, you know. Enough to make it interesting. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the news. So let's get on to the games. Mm. So the first game we're going to be playing is On Escape. This is a t late 2022 uh, game for the Atari 8-bit system. Mm. One time cake redeem for you all. What? <laughs> yes, cake, please. Cake, cake time. Woo, cake time. Cake time. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see. They're going to redeem the bits so we can eat the cake. Oh, nice. Ah. Yeah. Um, so this is made by Vort Adore <laughs> Games. Uh, Fandel on the code. Mm -hmm. uh, Pseudographics on the graphics. Aptly named. Yes. Uh, and he is in the chat yes. tonight. Um, and I didn't know this, but he talked about the music that we were playing because he recognized the artist that we were playing. Oh. Um, and he uh, set up the website that I got all the uh, music from. Oh. Which is the ASMA Archive. Oh. Um, it's an amazing archive with a ton of music on it. Um, that Pseudographics was set up pokey. the archive. Yeah. Oh, po okay. All the pokey music. Oh, very it has nice. Thousands back in back 1999. Back in 99. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for doing that. It's it's an amazing archive. If yeah. anybody wants some uh, awesome pokey music, you can mm -hmm. play it right on, on the web page or download the files, and you can play it with a, a program that plays those kind of files. Very cool. Um, and Poison did the soundtrack and the story mm. for On Escape. Um, this builds from mm -hmm. December 14th. It's a one meg game. Uh, Fandel, who did the coding, also did Bunny Hop and Dizzy mm -hmm. as well. Um, and you can download this right now in the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. Um, so he, uh, Poison posted on June 3rd, 2022. Hello, me and my friends are working on a new big one megabyte, megabit it says, uh, cart modern adventure game for the Atari XE, mm. uh, 8-bit, 64K stereo. There are more than 50 screens by Pseudographics, more than 30 minutes of adaptive soundtrack and great post-apocalyptic story by Poison. Mm. Great code by Fandle. It is a new age adventure with huge atmosphere and many story texts to read. Prepare for a new gameplay experience. ST mouse supported. So you can use a mouse with this if oh, you have one. Nice. I Point do not click. have one. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to get one, obviously. They're not that much. So Put it on the list. I'll put it on the list. <laughs> I bought something the other day, but when it comes, I'll show you. Mm. Um, Wait, what did you buy? Wait. <laughs> it's small. It's all good. It's okay. Sure it is. <laughs> I'll add it to the pile. Suddenly a huge CRT monitor shows up. <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> One of those really nice ones that yeah. uh, are used in broadcast. There the broadcast you go. equipment. Broadcast yeah. CRT. Um, 
And then on December 11th, when it was released, oh, mouse support was dropped. Erase that. There's no <laughs> mouse. No wonder it didn't work. <laughs> I tried to plug in my tablet, which I thought was a similar input to mouse, but so maybe that's a paddle. Mimic it? Yeah. Oh. Um, maybe that's completely different. Mm. Um, and the tablet didn't work, but maybe it's because mouse support works. It didn't, uh, isn't included, but maybe it's just because it doesn't work the same way. Yeah. Um, so when they posted it, initially it says, uh, Poison said, let me introduce the final version of On Escape. It's a one megabyte cartridge, uh, Atari Max 8 megabit, um, code by Fandle, graphics PG, music story Poison. The music is in stereo. We okay. unfortunately do not have a stereo um, Atari system. That may be for later. Mm. Um, but it will be in mono. It's really, really nice uh, sounding uh, music, as you'll see. If you find any bugs in the game, please write a uh, PM to me or PG. Have fun. Um, and so this was posted about a week ago. Oh, where am I? Right there. Uh, in the Atari Age forums, um, it says Poison and PG are apparently working on an Escape Collector's box set. Mm -hmm. An A3 map in color. Do you know what the size of an A3? Mm -hmm. A3 is bigger than A4. Mm -hmm. A4 is a so close to close letter. To letter. Yeah. A3 is bigger, right? Yeah. So a little bit I think bigger. So. I think it like takes one dimension and then stretches it one way. Yeah. Like an A4 goes whatever, eight and a half and yeah. stretches it the other way. A CD with the OST Digipack, uh, A5 manual, A3 is twice the A4. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what we thought. A5 manual, pictures, text, approximately 10 sheets, coded paper, original artworks, cart with game, Five stickers, round. Game image, image glossy, different. Game image, different, glossy. <laughs> Funny. A uh, box made of sturdy cardboard, uh, color printing. And um, we have exclusive first looks at these, actually, today. Oh, photos? Of, fo uh, renders. Okay. Of the upcoming box art and cartridge nice. art. Okay. Now these may or may not be the finals. Okay. So these are in progress right now, but we get to take a look at the first look at them right now, which is very exciting. Ooh. Oh, don't say ooh yet. <laughs> Nobody can say it. Of course, I'm just I'm I'm building <laughs> anticipation. That's right. Ooh. Okay, so this is the exploded view of the box art nice. so you can see the side the very side. nice um i don't know if that's like the top panel top panel bottom panel bottom panel but nice. that's the exploded version wow. of it and then you get to look at the box constructed <laughs> beautiful it does look really nice gorgeous. i love the colors no, 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 no. i love the skyline yeah it looks awesome the blue the sunset the is it a particular meteor. city or just a city Generic city, Generic city? Maybe. Or is maybe it we'll representative of any particular city skyline? Uh, maybe somebody, maybe the artist um, uh, I'm, I'm just modeled curious. it after a yeah. specific skyline. Generic. generic. Okay, no, no, that's generic. fine. It looks really good, though. Um, there is a blue version of the cartridge. <gasps> now, I've been told, unfortunately, it will not be blue. No! <laughs> but it will be a very cool-looking black uh, color. Okay. Similar to that. Like a gray, a translucent? Black. Yes, trans oh, transparent. Oh, nice. No, the, the translucent is... Uh... <laughs> Bad cat. He's been getting more naughty during the show. Oh, he just loves... So, he wants all the attention that all looks the time. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so looking forward to uh, seeing that completed. It's really nice. Yes. Yeah, so good job, guys, mm -hmm. on that. Um, and... Uh, uh, P Pseudographic said these are mock-ups, work in progress, and the final products may differ, but it's a good uh, first look at it. Yeah, the cart uh, cover is, is really, really nice. Um, and the full soundtrack is already available um, if you want to uh, support the uh, musician, Poison, right here. So you can see right there. And you can play it right on we're listening to it right now so they can hear it too mm -hmm. and you can listen to all the music right on this web page mm. um, and you can buy the digital album it's only three euros mm. pretty cheap really good music 
You may not hear it tonight, all of these songs, because we have to make it. But they're you know, available to listen to. They are available to listen to, nice. or buy them individually, or the whole thing. Really yeah. nice. Very, awesome. very nice. So great yeah. job, Poison, on that. And uh, so let's get on with the game. Mm. There's absolutely no instructions <laughs> uh, for the game, except for the intro. Okay. Um, so we'll have to learn the game as we go. Good site, Bandcamp. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. And uh, Bandcamp has like Bandcamp Fridays, where all the money goes to the artists. Really? Because usually they take a cut, right? So they, to, every to Friday the they just... They just... So it might be every Friday, but I know it's, it's on Fridays. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, Bandcamp is like the go-to place for musicians to independently sell their, their music. I like that. Um, it used to be a long time ago, if anybody remembers this, mp3.com. Mm. And mp3.com would also automatically um, make CDs of your music. If you asked for them? If, if somebody ordered it. Like really? they would just press it. Um, they must have had a big stack of CDs in a warehouse somewhere. Yeah. They just burn and, and send Yeah, they it were off. kind of burnt. They were burned. Um, but not only did the music come on it yeah. in CD format, the MP3s also were on the CD. On the CD. Yeah, so they made sure they had enough room wow. left over. I don't know if anybody I, remembers that. I weirdly want that now. Yeah. Like, like, but the, I <laughs> not mean, that I need more CDs. CDs are, CDs are dead. That's so cool, though. The sad thing is about mp3.com, it just it never got backed up. It just disappeared. So all, all the content just down. disappeared. Oh, yeah, and there no. was so... Like, Probably wow. hundreds of millions of hours of music just gone off the internet wow. like that. Yeah, it's very, very sad. Yeah. Um, my my old band was on there. Oh, really? I mean, I have the music for that. Yeah. But, yeah. for example, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, you could... Uh, no, I didn't put our band on there. It was other things that I did. Okay. Um, but it was really, really convenient. Just upload MP3s, and all of a sudden you can have an album of your music. Mm. Uh, and you upload the cover. Yeah. Really, really cool. Um, so, let us... Get on with the game. Okay. I think that is on. Yes, it is on. Cubanismo. CDs are dead, says the retro gaming host. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they uh, are not dead. Cartridges aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Just CDs. Unless you have a CD system, and then they're not dead. Yeah. MySpace had a similar problem. Bunch of tunes on there that just yes. poop. That was recent, I think, too. Mm, more didn't, recent. Didn't th didn't well, it was in the last year. Didn't no, wasn't no, there no. Uh, an they, objection to the fact they deleted a bunch bunch of sites? I think that was a while ago because the recent. new I could be... the new MySpace has been up for quite a while, and they they do music as well. No, but like recently, that site. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I I read something about that recently. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Load it up. Ooh. Go back one. Left in the button. Left. Left. Press left. No, not just the button. Press left in the button. There you go. No, you were confusing let's... me because I, I was like <laughs> left and button and... Uh. <laughs> Okay. And then I heard left button. Mm. I know he said left and the button, but my brain well, for a second left as well. had a little bit of a... Um... Here, give it to me. You're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my brain. It's been a long day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So this, if anybody recognizes this, is an uh, homage to Blade Runner. Ooh, Full yes. Star games. Steven has the Blade Runner guy there. Nice. Four to door games. Right, Jane. And even has the um, credits like Blade Runner too. Love it, it's got credits. Yeah, very nice open. Oh yeah. So graphics. Poison. Mm -hmm. Not reveal his real name there. Even though he was real. That's that's poison. <laughs> but I guess if you're a musician, you're gonna go by the yeah. musician. 2045, a meteor the size of a skyscraper, which is very bad. <laughs> Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Hemisphere. Eastern Hemisphere. Half the Earth became uninhabitable. There was a mass migration of people westward. Initially, developed Western nations responded positively, providing humanitarian aid and shelter to the survivors. Real nice practice. Nope. Don't touch it. If you press it, it'll actually escape. So you have to actually oh. sit through it. Wait. Okay. Yeah. 
or I don't know the key to skip it. There we go. So, generic city. <laughs> However, the influx was so great that after a while, the designated locations could not accommodate the ever-increasing wave of newcomers. Governments decided to stop providing aid. Mm, now, surprise, I can understand <laughs> if half the world, the populated mm. eastern part of the world, came over to the west. That would be quite an influx of people all at once. And it would be all at once. Yeah. <laughs> this one isn't generic, actually. Ah, it's New York. I was going to say it looks like go. the Empire State Building. Governments deployed armies and, and unprecedented massacres mm. occurred. The situation at the borders became unmanageable. Refugees infiltrated the general population. State borders fell. Anarchy, looting, and food shortages ensued. The last holdout group, CAC? CRC? CAC. Decided to use chemical weapons. Oh, that's never bad. Never bad. Chemical weapons. That just gets everyone. No. Destroys Good everything. artwork. That's great. Look, really look, at nice. the, look at the Fantastic. reflection in the, in the oh, DNA. Left side, correct DNA sequence. Right side, extreme mutation. <laughs> Very fast cell decay, monoclonal uh, antibody without effect. Death occurs within hours. Stop production of T, T lymphocytes. lymphocytes. Mm. Still infectious after the death of the subject. Organ failure, fast virus reproduction. Awesome. Before the project was carried out, the immigrants began to experience symptoms of severe DNA de degeneration, their subsequent mutation into barely humanoid forms. The incubation period was different for everyone. There was no... Oh! <laughs> you didn't speak not Ooh, fast enough. nice, cool yeah. uh, graphic thing. Very nice. After it was discovered that the virus had been carried to Earth on a meteorite, an underground Ooh. laboratory was built to develop an antidote. After much development, the vaccine was not tested in 2058. Oh, it's coming soon. Uh, shortly after, however, the lab exploded and all the materials disappeared. So, what? So, the lab <laughs> exploded? They developed it and then the lab exploded? It happens. <laughs> they didn't do any uh, data backups, obviously. Yeah. yeah, the text is very clear. Potoko, I, I, I also clear. really like the Good uh, font. font. Yeah. Ooh, bubble. Dome City. Yeah. To protect the unaffected areas, a shield had been raised to detect mutant DNA passing through and to destroy the subject. However, powering the shield is very demanding and is uncertain how long the supplies will last. A swift and successful completion of the mission may yet avert disaster. Amazing music and, and the graphics are stunning. Yeah. Like the, the lights in the buildings, like you can see individual like shading of light, lighting in, in the buildings. So how accurate was the DNA information? Good enough. Good enough it's a virus. That. It <laughs> pushes Destroys mu DNA. mutated DNA into someone's genome. Yes. Yeah. That's good enough. Oh, and we're oh. on our journey. Okay. We're on cat. Oh, this looks and sounds glorious. Yes. Look at this. Not work. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Make sure it's all plugged in. The cat is fluffing oh, up. What? Is it control oh, one. Oh. <laughs> what did you give me? The cat, the cat. It's, so it's, we're gonna blame Sprite. Yeah. Uh, I had to transfer over to the new. There we go. Yeah, they're backwards. Start game. Very nice. <laughs> You've been transported to an entrance in front of an underground laboratory. Your mission starts here. So I, I, so you move the joystick over top things, and when it's over top of something, you can click. Like it here? changes. Yeah. I'm sure there's something behind that rock. Away from here, quick! Oh. Ooh, an enemy? Badness? So you can go in. In. Uh, anything else? What does the sign say? Show me the sign. Private property, no trespass. Very nice, okay. very nice. Very oh, what was that? Path in the, path in the grass. Ooh, I can go to the right. Ah, I can go to the right. I can, can go, go to, to the left. left. Can I go to the rock? No, it just says there's something scary. Some trackballs have the same coding as the ST mouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes. I, w I have a trackball that does that may work. So into the laboratory or down the path or down the road. Uh, I, I don't think know. I think the laboratory sounds. There we go. Corridor with too. a metal ladder to the surface. I'm sure I'll get stopped. Ooh, what's this? That looks like a key. You found Ooh, a security, security door key. key. I'm sure that will come in handy. What a windstorm! I have to grab onto something, and then this one, a jammed fan. Ooh, I may have that? to fix the fan, the damage the power, power line, line, something else to fix. Alrighty, let's see. An Atern? Are you the guy who made the game? <laughs> Seems like a, a, a random compliment to somebody you may or may not left. know. And then up. Oh, oh, 
Okay, okay so that, that goes back. back. So, so you go down the ladder when go you go down the ladder. Then I can go left or right. Left There's right. some intense music for a corridor with a couple fans. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I've gone to the left. Well, you think about an 80s movie. You never know. What's Unlocked on. fuse box. Mm. Okay. Something drippy. Action corridor. <laughs> This is awesome. The music really adds a lot. It does. I mean... Contaminated sulfuric acid. Very ooh. nice. Very nice. That might come in handy, too. But you have to have I have a vessel to put it, to in. Put it in. Yeah. Ooh, something else. What? A bunch of cables fixed on the wall. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cables, cables, cables. Oh. Um, yeah. What was that little blip on the right-hand side? A long side? blue pipe. Down, down, down. What blip? On the, on the, on the wires? No. Nope. Up. Oh. The right. There. Is it just wire? Isolated ground cable seems rotten. I better not touch it. Ah, so mm. the ground cable, what, but it's also busted at Broken, that end. Broken, yeah. So the ground cable is no good, eh? Okay. Ooh, I see Ooh, a, a door. door. Ooh. Oh, bad lighting. Elevator door level one. Light flickers awfully. <laughs> uh, okay. Access card scanner, it seems to be offline, so it doesn't have probably power need to fix the, or something. Fix the wires, probably. So clearly, I'm not getting in here anytime soon. You're not clicking on things. What do I need to click on? I'm looking for that. There. Something is buzzing inside. Well, it's a buzzing light. <laughs> I don't have commands, do I? It's no, just click, just click. And, and interact. Okay. Okay. I don't have an access card. else you want me to hover over? Yeah, there's a bunch of things you missed. Where? The one. Minus one, it's in the basement. Floor minus one. <gasps> Interesting. Interesting. Or, yeah. or maybe we're minus one because we're below ground. Uh, or it's know. on minus one. One or the other. Uh, the wire's the same. Yeah, bunch, bunch of cables. cables. Okay. This is buzzing. Yeah. Might be something in it. How, can I? I can't open though, can I? Uh, no. I can't. I think you can use items on things, but you, there's no, um, what's the graphics mode for the screen? I'm thinking it's graphics eight for the inventory and text. Um, yeah, it looks like monochrome at the bottom, which makes sense because you need some so high res graphics would yeah. be very advantageous at the bottom. Okay. I'm going back one. Okay. Did I miss anything? Uh, a light oh. at the end of the tunnel. Funny. A, a light, light in the corridors. Mm -hmm. Buzzing lights. Quarter light. The non buzzing. Non -buzzing. Well, they should have ordered them all non buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sort of, uh, Walter White, this is bussing. Uh, the pictures are Antic 4 or 128 by 144. Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Oh, back this way. I think I saw everything. So maybe it's at broken. some point I can fix it. But yeah, you need something. That's to the fix power. It. That's the ground, I'm assuming. Ooh, Ooh a quarter block by a pile of rocks. It is dark here. No buzzing there. Do things jump out in the dark? Because that will freak me. Cruise. Did you look at everything there? Uh, good point. Always look at everything. You, you were know. eaten by a groove. All the rocks. Look at that big pile of rocks. See if any of them you can move. Oh, maybe. Mm. Yeah, m mice are better. <laughs> But anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Rustic works. All right. So we're here. So I don't know if I... Oh. Floor is Single left. two. Above a blower. Above a blower. And again. Ver, what a windstorm. I have to grab onto something. <laughs> Wires on the wall. Where do they lead? But this is completely dark. Yeah, it's too dark to see anything or click on anything. Mm. Nice Zork reference. Oh, the group. Yeah. <laughs> also a very good okay. rap song called You Are Likely to Be Eaten by Gru. Oh. Very funny, and I can't remember who sang it. Long time ago, okay. that came I'm going out. back out. All right, so we also have a path to the right. There's something... Oh, and then there's this. There's something a little gray on the ground there. What is that? Path in the grass. Can I see that little... Here? You know. Just on the path. Oh, okay. Just, just the color. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. burning city. What is this? A view of a destroyed city from a mountain ledge. Ooh. That's probably important. A cable, cable connector. connector. I can probably restore the power to the right. Yeah. Oh, tree. A, a dead, dead tree. tree. Poor dead tree. Probably have to get across that chasm at some point. 
Oh, the building slid up. And that ledge. A cliff, but I cannot jump over All right, there. fair enough. All right. Can I knock the tree over? I probably need a yeah, saw sure. to knock the tree over to get Yeah, over. that's true. No, nope, you didn't. You went over the city and you didn't click on it. That's the tree. A burning city on the horizon. All burning cities. Um, I'm playing it on PAL. Um, Pseudographics recommended I play it on PAL, but it may work on NTSC. Um, is there any issues with it on NTSC Pseudographics? Oh, there we go. A trash can full of garbage. Mm, can't open it. Oh. A very strange looking rock in the forest. There is no end to this. No end to the rocks. Works on NTSC, but the pallet's off. Okay, so it, it doesn't this go crazy. This certainly is not a birch tree. Could this possibly be a pine tree? This could be a common spruce. <laughs> Another tree. I wish I were already out of the forest. Is that a Monty Python reference about the trees? Oh. Remember there was oh, like some... the larch. The larch. The larch. <laughs> um, could be. Oh, I love Monty Python. Uh, I, like, I like their good skits. I like that. Most Plus, people are Foster. very familiar with their good skits. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, let's face I, it, their movies are fantastic. Oh, the movies are great. Yeah. But I, uh, I, I dare anybody to watch the full, all the episodes. Yeah. It gets very tedious <laughs> at the later years, especially when John Cleese is gone. It's badness. A tree next to the road leading to a secret underground complex. <laughs> Which we've already been to. We know the character is not an arborist. Ah, ah, a brown plant. tree, the tallest one in the forest. You must bring me shrubbery. A tree <laughs> next to a tree infested by bark beetle, and Ooh. this would be the tree infested, infested by, by bark, bark beetles. beetles. Okay. Uh, oh, something very... on the ground there. Where? 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 Oh, there. <gasps> Magnifying Ooh, glass. Ooh, can I use it on things? You can use it to burn things. You can use it to look at things. Can't burn the beetles. What about that stump? Does that say anything? The stump? No? No. A nothing stump. Okay, going to the left. Okay. More trees to examine. A thin tree. A strange tree. Another tree. Could this possibly be a forest? Another thin tree. Yes, this is certainly a forest. Anything in the bushes? Any those bushes light up the... Nope. Nothing on the ground in front. Oh my god. Oh, something in the forest there. A very fluffy creature is dwelling at the glade. It does not seem to care about oh. you. Oh, fluffy creatures. There's, we know all we, about those. We know those. all about those fluffy, fluffy creatures. Hello, hey. Neo Venom. Hey, Neo Venom. A rotten stump with interesting fungal spores. Can I look at the fungal spores? Oh, maybe. No. <laughs> a tree in the front, almost within reach. <laughs> a tall, strong tree. That's... This is very. Oh, look, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> very along the veins I of. I love all, it. All the text adventures. A dead body of a scientist. Oh, I have the access card. Woo! Do, 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 Yay! Do, do, do. Oh. Pile of rocks with a dead body. <laughs> nice. There's always a dead scientist with an access card. Oh, That's poor how you scientists. get into every facility. <laughs> That's right. They're just <laughs> laying around. I uh, mean, it makes sense they have their access card. Well, they're good. They didn't leave it behind their computer, so. Oh, 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 what was that? A bush? Hopefully nobody's hiding there. Ooh, ominous. Toko says, I'm asking about the video system because the inventory looks like they're high res and that would produce artifacts. Oh, well, it would produce artifacts on a um, CRT, right? If done in a certain way. Um, or it could be done on purpose to, to produce artifacts because you can make color out of um, single monochrome graphics. 
like they did with Load Runner on the 8-bit system. Mm. Pal is less prone to artifacts. Okay. Okay, I'm going back. Yep. Let's go back, back, back. Oh, maybe try that trash can. Any of those? Maybe the... Oh! What? Oh! Because you have the magnifying glass now? Maybe. What the... Oh! But it wasn't highlighted when you uh, clicked on the trash no, can. No, maybe because I have the magnifying glass, so I had that Could highlighted. Be. Yeah. It, but it wasn't when you clicked on it. I don't oh, think. really? Yeah. Oh. But that's cool that it just works because it's in your inventory. Yeah, maybe. Oh, or Pseudographic says you just have to click it three times. Ah, uh, oh no, I have to click everything. Click, 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 click. Now, we, now we're going to be clicking everything many times. So what go back could to I the use? Scientist. Oh, you want me to go back to the scientist? Click him like five times. Well, I got his access card. I mean, that is important. No. He's not suddenly going to become um, revi uh, revived because I've clicked on him three the times. The scientist has woken up. Maybe he wasn't dead after all. I don't no. think any of those items would... Yeah. Hammer! Hammer! No, no, we're not going to do that, no. Zombie scientist. No. It's not overused. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Because that would just be like, oh, I have to <laughs> click, click everything three times. Yeah. Did I ever click this car? No. Uh, no. Just a generic uh, car that... Uh, can I use the hammer on the tree? Could be. I doubt it. It doesn't seem like a hammery kind of thing. More like a saw... Light lathing hammer. Uh-oh. No. No. Not helping me. Okay, that's fine. Back down we go. Okay, so I feel... Yes. Like this that should... should help. Yay! yay! What? Yay! Oh, yay! It's, the lights are working here. And okay. there's something on the ground! Uh, you picked up a part of a oh. diary dated August 35th... August 35th. 2057. Press view, space to view the diary. Oh, let's view the diary. After two months, I'm getting back to recording notes. I was told that the laboratory is indeed under construction. Its location is not known, but it's supposedly somewhere in the mountains. Well, we're in it, aren't we? Allegedly for security reasons. The number of mutants increases. We're not unable to keep up with burying them. Each morning, their bodies are piled up and burned. If possible, everything is done without contact with their tissue because the transfer mechanism is unknown. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, there have been uh, yet to be any reported instances. There is a water spring. Always water springs in... Uh, in uh, RPGs and uh, text adventures, and provided that the underground sources have not been contaminated, we even have we even have drinking water. We're running out of ammunition. Uh oh, that's never good. Several people went to the neighboring village to exchange. Oh. Space. Oh, side to side. Yeah. Water. water for some. Unfortunately, they never returned. Nobody wants to venture out and search for them. Who knows what happened? Well, we found one of them. Yeah. We have fortified ourselves, but everything is only made out of wood. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wooden bullets. Wooden bullets. He was only mostly dead. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. We found a fuse. Ooh, Perfect. Fuse. That's yep. what we needed. Oh, Let's check this? things out. Broken, Broken lamp. lamp. Someone stole the bulb. Oh, how could they? Pipe is broken at the end. Okay. Yeah, but no sulfuric acid is coming out of it, so that's a good sign. One, two, light is blue. Well, in fact, it is not. <laughs> light on the wall. Okay. Any of those rocks hold any clues? Oh, a rock pile. I cannot go further. Perhaps I do not want to. Yeah. Smash those rocks. Smash those rocks. With the hammer. Hammer them. Probably a light lathing hammer is not going to do much to rocks. Cables, wires, leads. <laughs> nice. All right, so I've got the fuse. That's a fixed. Fuse for that. Okay, fuse, put it in there. High voltage fuse. We've installed the fuse into the box. Press Excellent. It. Click it again. See what it says. An unlocked fuse box. Same thing. So now we can probably use the elevator. We have the access card. Yep. And then this should now be... Oh! Bad light. Access card scanner is online. Excellent. Nostalgic says, are the screens made with a character set or several or distinct image? Access card accepted. Elevator is now operational. Excellent. Ooh, 
can go down. Ooh, minus two first or minus three? Um, mm -hmm. well... Mm -hmm. Minus two, minus three. Should we do it out of order or in order? Oh, I'm more of an order person. <laughs> okay. After pressing the button, the cab shook heavily, and after a while, the ele elevator Ooh. started moving. Now we're on minus two. And now we're on minus two. Minus two. Excellent. More wires, more litter. Lift control panel. Okay. A lift. How European. A shiny, shiny light. Was not just a light, it's a shiny, shiny light. light. That is something. You picked up a part of the diary dated oh, August 26th, an actual real date, 2058. Press space to view the diary anytime. Uh, I think this is the first one, right? Mm hmm. We have successfully tested the first vaccine. All tests result in 100% success rate. That's pretty good. These tests were supervised by just three people. Myself, my colleague Creed, and a special CAC supervisor, Colonel Kowalski. Uh, the results were immediately were immediate and were analyzed immediately <laughs> to immediates after after the tests were finished. Once verified, it was recorded that the destruction of the extraterrestrial DNA was successful. Date 8, 26, 2015. Unfortunately, the test also caused the death of the infested subject. Oh. Go. As the unaffected DNA has not been disrupted in any way, a massive vaccination of the inhabited part of the planet comes into question. Mm -hmm. okay. So, it worked but killed it? It killed the, that killed the host, yeah. Oh. The person who had the virus. Ooh, there's a door. There's a thing on the ground. Power generator room. Okay. There's standby electric generators behind bulletproof glass. Another library. Picked uh, up a space of the diary. November first, so we're going back in time. Are we? I'm slowly giving up the thought that the laboratory exists or under construction. Rumors that some cities may not even exist anymore. CAC is supposedly developed and is using sprayable gas containing chemical material that binds to mutated DNA. Mm. Perhaps the situation is starting to stabilize. On the 2nd of November, I was forced to escape a village. The number of people has been rat rapidly decreasing as people ran away. Then one night, a wall was breached in the southern part of the village. About 60 mutants broke in. <gasps> no! Almost everyone in the village has since died or become infected. Out of the blue, a subcutaneous probe implanted in my arm about 15 years ago, while I was still working for the organization, started to... Shine. Shine! I actually thought it was a long defunct, but as satellite technology has not been damaged, then why should it not work? Ugh. Subcutaneous uh, yeah. implants. Interesting. So is that door Generators. open or locked? <laughs> door made of Titan. 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 Suitable for allergic persons. <laughs> <laughs> allergic persons. Is that key? What's the key again? It, it? It's just a brass, brass door key. Is it for that room? No. no. Okay. Let's keep on going. Ooh, what is this? This looks unhealthy. So Pseudographic says the uh, the screens are character-based with lots of DLIs and PMGs to add color. Pipeline, a pipeline with leaking hot steam blocks your path. Oh. Rusted hmm. valve wheel. It cannot be turned. Smack, smack, smack. I hope that works. Nope. Well, we do have another floor to get to. Long I'm, lamp on the wall. I'm assuming if I try to go... No, it won't even look. Um, okay. A question, pseudographics. In this game, can you fail and... Die? Like, do the game wrong and get stuck, or die? Those two questions. Because some games are like, no, you can't die, you can't get stuck, it's just... You just... Not stuck, but you can get stuck, but not... Put yourself into a situation you can't get out of again and have to restart the game. Because those can be frustrating. <laughs> Minus three. It went there. Oh, it did. Okay. There are three possibilities to die, so we actually okay. have to be careful. Now. Okay, good to know. So, like, don't run into the steam, for example, if it, if it allows you to do that. Mm. If I was a devious adventure game designer, I'd make you backtrack between mm -hmm. two and three to make progress. I bet you have to. Mm -hmm. Like you have to go to three to get to two, and pass that thing, and then oh, go back to three. there's a left. Oh, oh, was there a left on the uh, other floor? I, I don't, don't know. 
a light illuminating the room with the elevator. Mm. When Should we go, go back, back up? No, not yet. But when go we go back first. to two. Okay. Dead I'll end of the you. corridor. Pile of boulders. Pile of boulders. A oh. locked power we box. We have a key. <laughs> oh, it's a door key, though. Oh. No. Dirty. Dirty. I like how they're different. I do, too. Because it makes you want to click on all of them. Well, it, to find out, oh, yeah. what does this one say? Oh, oh. Pile of boulders. Okay. Boulders, a locked fuse box. Uh, did I see? Oh. Cables on the wall that lead to a terminal. Okay. Elevator control. There's a wide gap in the ground filled with water. The wall of the tunnel is starting to collapse. Deep sinkhole filled with water. Stinking water. Stinking. Ooh. The wall's caved in. It's awfully dark there. Quarter mm. mm. light. Third <laughs> light in the corridor. A light in the corridor. Cables leading to the floor. And then, yeah, you can't get across. Can't get past, no. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, I think Let's you need to go back to two and back. see if there's a left, because we didn't. I don't know if I checked that. Yeah. There we go. So we missed all that. Uh, Oop, flashy lights. Flashy flashies. Entrance to the laboratory. Flickering light in a tunnel. I really do not like these fluorescent lamps. Who yeah. does? Nobody likes fluorescent lamps. Broken, broken control panel. This door is in order. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> laboratory room. There's some chemical equipment. Ooh. Mm. Excellent. Lots of things. Oh, computer. Samsung monitor. Reminds me of something. Documents, notes, excerpts, clips, and information. No. One, two, three, four screws. Yes, the table is assembled tightly. <laughs> tightly. Ooh, closed gas exhaust. Ooh. Gas exhaust, hopefully it works. Yeah. Hmm, a formula for sub superluminal Super speed, luminal but speed. a part may be missing. Ooh. Mm. Thank you, Pseudographics, for going to warn us if we get near to something bad. A huge AC unit. It goes... Well, it's all on. Yeah, it's all working. That's good. Zweistein? Zweistein's life work. It was reportedly stolen by Einstein. Oh, funny. Are these drawers empty? I don't know. They're locked. Yay, we have a key. Open them, open them. It's a door key, though. It might work. Does it say door key? I don't know. Wheelchair. One wheel is locked. Second one drags, and third one. <laughs> so typical. Mm. Brown table sideboard. Bright finished. You took a flask. Ooh, I can get sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. You can burn something. Burn the stuff. Red brown liquid. Smells like washer fluid. Must be tequila. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Distillation apparatus. Di oh. Uh, distillation. Error. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would take a snifter. <laughs> Need to no need know in that word. So the graphics goes, oh, oh, exactly. <laughs> well spotted. Uh, Reminds me of something, eh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Lights. Too many fluorescent lamps called bald to cause baldness. The middle fluorescent lamp, as if it's following me. Fluorescent lamp is flickering a bit. Most likely a faulty starter. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm, I think Clicked all the stuff that can be. A flask is is going to be useful, I think. Yeah. That's out. It's out. Oh. There, there we go. go. Always look. Diary. June twenty fifth. Oh, goes right to it this time. Good. Uh, after that terrible event in the 40s, mm -hmm. I had retired to the country. Uh oh, 40s. What's happening in the 40s? Retired to the countryside when the re oh reminds me before I forget we have an awesome book that. It's full of every single date from every single movie and book in sci-fi on a timeline. And it has entries for every single one of them. Yeah. And you can look up what's happening this year in movie lore. Oh, in the sci-fi like sci timeline. Yeah, what happened in 2023 in oh, a movie from the 50s or something. Yeah. It's, it's super big yeah. and cool. I just had to get it when I saw it. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't remember where we got it from, but... 
just reminds me of this, like yeah. the dates in the future, and I'm like, oh, what happens in the 40s? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, where the refugee situation was not as bad, the air before 2056 was quite breathable. Uh, so a year ago there, and you could even stay outside for several hours. Oh, wow. Ooh. After which it started to burn the inside of your throat. It reminds me of our summers in Vancouver with all the... Oh, with the heat dome? The heat dome oh, and the well. burning... F Forests. Oh, the board. Yeah, that the the fires. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally, sure California is worse though. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally, a mutant showed up, but thanks to the night watch, it was rather still rather safe. The situation was worse in the cities, really bad. Even the no now mostly disbanded CAC could not safely defend the most important areas. Mutation is spread. Uh, mutation is spreading faster, and an increasing percentage of both the eastern and western populations are being affected by it. After all. After all, after people had to migrate to one hemisphere, the spread of virus could not be controlled. Well, there are rumors that the CAC is building a laboratory to research and develop an antibody. It's like going back in time. Being a chemist, doctor, and biologist myself. Ooh, wow, that's I, fancy. That's pretty good. That's a lot of designations right there. Yeah, a lot Someone of Someone has a lot of degrees. <laughs> yeah, I hope these rumors are true and that the CAC would get me out of here. I'm increasingly afraid of being infected. I'm hardly eating, eating and I drink only a little. I could see that why they were picked up to work on this project, mm. having three degrees. Okay. 2022 is a year soiling green. Ah. Uh. It, T41, it is an IBM T41. Uh, that was oh, wow, that is so funny. I do not need 10, this. 1024 by 768. That Why is, is such so an ancient computer? 20 gigs in HD. In the laboratory. That is uh, such... pretty funny. That is. A pile of documents about UFOs, strictly confidential. Ooh, a beautiful wooden table. Not even worn out. <laughs> Doing X Files song. A sideboard of a table, really <laughs> lovely brown color scientific chair or a chair for science <laughs> the locker is locked oh my god great writing in this it's yeah so i have to oh i opened oh, a bookcase finally something opens a pair of gloves, Ooh, gloves very important important for the, for the sulfuric acid yeah. pair of pliers oh very nice very important cannot get in Why they lock they? everything yeah. <laughs> shakespeare hemingway jurassic garbage everywhere <laughs> Nuclear physics in practice, parts 1 through 35. What happened to 36? Yeah, somebody take it. Poisons Complete Works, part 1. Ah, uh, very nice. Very nice, including yourself in the game. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Advanced, Advanced physics. Advanced physics. Very nice. All right, so. Look at the lights. Okay. See if they reveal any jokes. First fluorescent lamp. Second fluorescent lamp. The third fluorescent lamp seems uncanny. Seems uncanny. uncanny. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Not even worn out. <laughs> Excellent. The computer was all the budget they could afford. Yeah. There's no part 30 <laughs> yeah. fix because it's the abridged version. Ah, uh, yeah. abridged. Well, perhaps a retro fan worked there. Very true. That's very true. You watch these YouTube channels with these people that have like ancient PCs. Oh, at first I didn't get I it. I love it. But then I'm like, oh, because you literally need that PC to run the old software yeah. at the right speed. Yeah. Otherwise you're emulating it in a DOS box or yeah. something. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's put these flask and gloves to use uh, oh can you get any of that stuff with the gloves maybe like that flask no like pick up put on the gloves i don't think you do you have to no so we have pliers and okay the pliers I'm sure those come into it okay. yeah anything else here did i miss no we're locked Okay. Well, oh, the shade. Did you look at that window? Yeah. AC oh, it's right. AC. Yeah, it's not a window. Formula. Oh, yeah. So we need to find something for the formula, maybe. Maybe. It reminds me. Samsung reminds me. I don't, I don't That's get a that. hint. Yeah, might be a hint. Uh, so no, is that panel it's... working? Was it, or is it broken? Broken. Can you fix it with pliers? Or a hammer? That's fine. Um, I mean, you can put on gloves in case you're, I don't know, allergic to it. Oh, so try the pliers with that. That should be it. No. Hammer it. I think you tried that already. Maybe the gloves will help you turn it? No. 
I mean, it's rusted. You could try using the sulfuric acid to dissolve ah, the rust. Ah, yes. That's so. true. Pseudographic says you're doing good so far. Now it's starting to get tricky. I bet it is. I'm going to go get some sulfuric acid. Oh, yeah. This is, is really this well made, this game. It looks great, too. It looks great. It plays great. It's a um, great interface of just one button and movement. Rather than like drop downs and talk, look, move, like it's very, very straightforward. Oh, that's the pipe. There we go. Woo! Woot, woot. Do you want hints to progress further? No, we're still no, going. We're, we're, we're still, still doing good. We're still figuring stuff out. Yeah. Oh, oh. what? Oh, <laughs> what? How did we get past that? Because it wasn't completely. No, those were rocks. That was a pile before. Was something, it? Something oh, happened. Okay. Unfinished Eastern oh, Escape. The wall was falling apart at the, the lower floor. Maybe? Oh. Unfinished Eastern Escape Corridor. The ceiling is supported by wooden beams. Mm. That sounds dangerous. Massive wooden reinforcement. Hmm. Maybe we need to knock that out to get past the thing in the woods. What is this? Part of a cracked, stiffened rod that looks like it is about to fall off. I feel uh, like that might kill us. Uh, One of yeah. the three things that would. Uh, Mid strength support. The pile of rocks collapses when you use the elevator for the first time. A rock oh. covered by brown moss. It seems to be out of place. Ooh. Ooh. Can I look at that? Hammer it. Look at it. Pick it up. No. Smack it. Smack it without hammer. Or try the acid. Um, Pseudo graphics. Can you do wrong things in the game that will impede your progress, other than dying? Like, say we um, poured the flask on the rock, it did nothing, but now we don't have a flask anymore. Okay, good, no. Okay. So there's only danger of dying, and not danger of wrecking your game, other than dying. Oh, you're going for it? No. Okay. I don't think it really, nothing happens. Well, I mean, I suppose there are things that can happen. It could collapse happen, and kill us. But that, that rock. That's something, yeah. Right, that right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the flask would uh, dissolve the rust, but. Cable spire stays. Mm -hmm. Go onto the wall. Stole the bulb! Broken at the end. Hmm. Well, I didn't see anything else here to click on. We may have missed something here. Here? Oh, yeah. Mm. There. Here? Well, here. If I wanted to be a jerk, I'd put in an out-of-place rock into a game that's just a red herring. Oh, I picked up a plank. Oh! Oh, that might get me across the water. Ah, thank you, Cinegraphics. Yeah, move your mouse everywhere. Sometimes it's... Oop. out the rock with the plank. Oh, yes. Thank you, Carl G. Oh! <laughs> it seems... It's quick to, to respond, which is really good pseudographics, because these types of games <laughs> you want to go... Wait. You go back and forth a lot, so you can kind of flip through. So you go boom, boom, boom really quick. Oh, I think the wooden plank's for no. crossing over the water on level is. three. Or crossing over the gap, but I think the tree is for that gap. Okay. That's later. That's why we used a cartridge loading from disk drive would take ages. Mm -hmm. yep. That's true. That would be that would get frustrating, especially if it's like, oh, you're going to level three again. Load, 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 load. Did I miss anything here? Um, not the lights. Oh, oh, what was that? It's just pile of rocks, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's something there. Okay, that's definitely the board. Yeah. Yay! Walls caved in. It's awfully dark there. Yeah, 
it makes stands to reason that you could do that, right? Monsters, Grooves are in there. Oh, oh. Electric discharge is coming from a damaged wiring blocking the way. Well, we can use those clippers. Nope, get to that. Check out the fan and the lights first. Okay. A blower. A corridor light. A broken light in the corridor. A strange corridor light. Mm, looks the same to me. Super blower number two. A harness of cables leading from the floor. No, I can't get that yet. Can't get past it yet. Oh, put on the gloves, which would insulate you. Right? Possibly. <laughs> uh, examine it again. No, can't examine it. Or whatever it told you about the wires. Mm. Click on that the thing you were just hovering over. Okay. Uh, on the other side, too. Where did it say the thing about the wire? I think when you came in the room. Try the pliers, though. Toko says, use the tool! That's what I say. Red handles. No, I can't click on it. So there might be something else I need to do. Something Try elsewhere. Yeah. Try and click on the other side. Oh, there's two poles? Try and click on the other pole with the... You already clicked that one. Yeah, the I clicked one. the other one. Says the same thing. No, with the pliers, though. Yeah, I can't get over it. Hmm. hmm. You can't do anything here yet, Pseudographic says. Hmm. hmm. But we've already crossed over there. Maybe we can disconnect the wires from here? Can you. Because they might run underneath. Hammer it! Hammer or, it. Or no, there's there is there a fuse box? Hammer it. Hammer everything. Oh, it unselected your. No, it, uh, that's okay. I think I need to disconnect this. Can this work? No, it's a door key. <laughs> Hammer it. Smack it open. Plot, pry it open. I understand being the one in position of wanting to give out hints and about having to hold myself don't back. Don't do it. No, don't do it. No. We'll figure it out. Oh. Neatly settled cables in a strip. Well, that's different. I was thinking you probably have to open this and shut off the power to get past it. Yes. So you have to figure out something there. I, I think that's a definite yes. So you have to shut off the power somehow. Like there is a lead all the way. But then this is collapsing. She can't go there. How about the water? Is there any... Oh! Screwdriver in the water. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So does the screwdriver help me with the... Maybe. You can unscrew the panel. Keep, keep hammering it five times. <laughs> uh, good job, Pseudographics. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that screwdriver tried on the, that panel there. I mean, it's, it's just the elevator control terminal, though. Yeah. Tried on the wires. Nope. Tried on all the wires. You have to select it again. Unfortunately, it does not stay so. selected as you switch screens, so... Mm. No. Pry Mystery Rock with a screwdriver? Good. Oh, yes! Yeah. That's a good suggestion. That's Thank you. That's a very good suggestion. That's on the other floor, but um, yeah. we can head back there. I think Maybe that... there's something underneath it. Probably not, but you never know. No, try the other side. Like you can't access the other side. I can't get past this, so. But it allows you to click on that second. You can cl you can click on it, but I don't think you can necessarily. Enter it. Okay, let's go to two. Was there anything more on one? Maybe. Um, it's been a while since been there. Was there anything in the office too that might benefit from any of those things? Right open that door. Screwdriver is the thing we need to try. Mm. 
and everything. Smash the window open. Oh, we could try the screwdriver on that, see if it helps with leverage. I doubt it, but... No, not yet. Use everything on everything. That's pretty much what you have to get to. Now, the screwdriver could unscrew those screws because it made a point of talking about the screws. trying on it. There's four of them. Nope. No. That screwdriver's gonna open something. Something in here. Oh, unselected it. That's the way it was with all the old Sierra games. Yeah. Some of the, like this one, this game is fairly straightforward in what Things work with things, like you can figure it out. Yeah. Some of those games. I hated games like back that. Back in the where... 80s, it was like, what? why would I use that on that? Like, yeah. you look up the hint and you're like, I would never figure that yeah, out. Yeah, those are the ones I hate. Or um, you figure out that you've been doing it right, but you just oh, haven't been doing it God. in the right way. Yeah. It's like, uh, those are the worst. Where it's yes. like, I tried it that out. thing and I figured it out, but it didn't work because of how I held the door handle or yeah. something. Those are the worst. Yeah. Those are the worst. And you're just like, no, no, I didn't need a hint. That was just wrong all along. You, you did you did it wrong on a technicality. Oh, those are the worst. So this has got to open something. No. Hmm. Smash that monitor. What does it remind me of? It feels like I should be able to pick stuff up here. Yeah. Hmm. Try the drawers with the screwdriver. These ones, maybe? Hmm. Mm. Okay, so we have sulfuric acid, which we haven't figured out what to use. No. Try the rock. I, um, yes. Is it level this way? One. Oh, it's no. level one. Yeah, I've forgotten what's on level one. I haven't been back to level one. Maybe something has revealed itself. Yes, yeah, so we've got a bunch of tools. Gloves and hammers and... Nothing to the left. Flashy flashies. That's fixed. Got that. Fix that. There's that rock. Use everything on the rock. Oh, you Very almost dead. had it. Oh, no. What? So we have to go back in that office. Okay. I, you do the rock thing first. What rock thing? I don't try everything. I've on the tried rock. everything on the rock already. You have? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Not the screwdriver. That's new. Is it? Yeah. We haven't been back to floor one with the screwdriver. No. Okay. Back to the office. It did seem like the screwdriver would do something in the office. Yeah. But we tried it on just about everything, but we'll have to be very systematic about it. Okay. Try everything. Multiple times. He said it's not used often. Try click on the actual screws on the one on the right. It, I, th I bet it's in the other side there. Yeah. I feel like there's something I'm missing on that side. Or like you unscrew the cabinet, or there's a locked doors here. I highlight the screwdriver again. Or the chair. chair. Yeah, there's a broken chair. Both of them. Mm -hmm. 
Really? I think you do need this. <laughs> Might want to play some old DOS games, right? Could you do the chair? Mm. <clears throat> it's in the other half. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Chairs, do the chairs. Chairs, click it multiple times, multiple times. No. I mean, maybe the maybe the sulfuric acid and on the retort stand needs to be. Oh yes, in the distillation. Driver on there? Maybe there's something in behind it. Oh, possibly. Mm. Or behind the uh, air AC. Yeah. Come on. The vent or is a rack of servers. It's um, it's the AC unit. Yeah, closed gas exhaust. You think like you could open it? Our vent is it with you? Go ahead. Hmm, something in this. Going to try room. everything on everything. Yeah, you'll probably figure it out eventually. Oh, that's nice. mm. It reminds me of something. I feel like it's something to do with that monitor. Yeah. So what haven't we used on the monitor? Try all the stuff on the monitor. Space between the legs of a table. <gasps> See that one. No, I don't remember seeing that either. Look. Maybe the not magnifying done glass? This, not done with screwdriver. Oops. There we go. Mm. Just have to <laughs> smack it a bit. So what did we get? Square socket key. Socket key. key. Is that for the fuse box? Ooh, that's what we need. Yeah. On level three. To the left. Oh. Yay! And then you Open can the power box. Inside the power box. Power is on. Off. Is off. Ooh, very nice, smooth animation. Very Thank nice. You. Let's see that again. On, off. Anything else in here? Thank you for following games on VHS. Ooh, nice. <laughs> there were games on VHS. Yes. And you, you had like a little zapper, and you shot at the screen. Nice. And Captain Power was one of them. Okay, oh. that's off. Now you're not going to get zapped. Now you can pick Yay. up the oil canister. Oil, oil can. can. Now Woot. we can turn the wheel. Oh, yes. And go right. Go to the right. Yep. Let's see what's there. A new room Ooh. with a, a light above the door. Very nice. Air conditioning blower. The grill moves a bit. Well, does it now? <laughs> does it move a bit? I need to oil it. Warning! Yeah, read the warning sign. Oh, yeah, I haven't been there yet. Uh, toxic hazard Ooh, area. Oh, that's uh -oh. never good. Cluttered air conditioning vent. Probably broken. Pile of rocks. Must have been a huge bang. Can't get through the door? Or you don't want to get through the door? Want? Not yet. Looks, <laughs> looks pretty dangerous. Immediate death ahead, says pseudo graphics. Oh, yeah. we will not. Don't go through the door. It does warn you. Yeah. Like, you need a full body suit to go in there. I bet you do. Okay, well, we're going to go back and fix the, uh, the rusty yeah. turny thing. There we go. Oil it. Oil it good. Oil it up. We've oiled the valve. Unfortunately, Ooh. it's still stuck. Oh, try the uh, pliers or the hammer. Yay! You've managed to close the valve by several smack, hits with the smack, hammer. Smack. The hammer is gone. Yep. The oil can is gone. Very hot pipe. 
deep. It's just blowing steam all over the place. Here, the pipe is a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> Funny I stuff. I love it. Percussive maintenance, yes. <laughs> what do we have here? Air conditioning control unit, the fluorescent tubes are failing. Wall panel with the display, locked. Of course, you have a key there. It's a door key, you keep telling me. Yeah. yeah. A lamp, and there's a fly inside. Those can get really get everywhere. And there are three flies inside. Hooray for hammers! <laughs> you picked up a part of the diary, dated oh. January 3rd. 2058. No. Nope. November 28th, the helicopter land. Just tens of meters away from me and several guys in black uniforms jumped out of it and ran towards me. I panicked and started running away, but suddenly felt a sting with my back, with the, within my back, uh, and then felt my legs weaken, weakening. I fell down. I woke up about three hours ago and a woman brought me some of my belongings, including my diary and a pen, all disinfected. I still have not received my documents and other things. Then some higher CRC, CAC, CAC officer, officer came to clarify the situation. Okay. Oh, and then tested the vaccine. So they're all out of order. All plan on the display. All right. Okay. Another Our door. Room. Entrance to the, oops. That. Entrance to the research room. Case secured with a seal. Snip that. Yay! Got the seal. Cut that seal. Ele and the players are gone. Electronic device sealed in protective resin. Resin. Interesting. Oh, sulfuric acid. Pour the sulfuric acid on the resin. Do you know resin? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Melt at plastic. Pass it on the resin. It started to melt immediately. Yeah. Ooh! Puzzle, puzzle, blue to blue, yellow to yellow. Tea. yellow. <laughs> you cannot touch the boards as the wires are live. Well, let's fix that. So how does this work? You put on the rubber gloves. Now it's possible to hack the door security system device by reconnecting wires. Both wires must cross the central element. So you have to go through the so middle. that one, so they cross. Mm. Now how does this puzzle work? Okay. Oh, that way, okay. It turns. Okay, well, Okay, that's, that restricts things. Um, okay. It's puzzle music. Very intense puzzle music. Yep, no, that no, would do no. it. No. no. That would go to the wrong one. Oh. That does go to the right one. I don't know if there's... Does it have to be perfect, though? That doesn't work at all. You probably have to go down. I bet it, it fits perfectly. I'm going to be right back since okay. you're playing the mini game. So this has to go up. That has to go that way. That has to go that way. That has to go... That could go up. But it probably would interfere. That has to go that way. That could go down. In fact. That could go that way. That way. Mini game time. <laughs> Uh, it's unlikely. Let's let's start piecing the corners. That has to go that way. That has to either go that way or that way. Good, it doesn't short out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I like this. This is this is good. That's good. Boom. Okay, one done. Um, so we have to get that. How about we do this? And then do this. Boom. That one connects up. Boom. Done. Nice. <laughs> you have successfully hacked the dis door security system. Very good. Okay. You're back, sir. okay. No problem. Some capacitors in here. I don't see anything else to actually do. Okay, I guess you just leave. Leave the bottom. Good game, yes. That was very fast, if I do say so myself. Uh, should I go in there, or should I go further first? Oh, the suits, there we go. I will take one of those. No, I cannot. Access terminal? Okay, it's locked. So I need to unlock that, so I can go into the danger zone on the other floor. Let's go inside. Oh my god, there's a person. And he didn't even turn towards me when I came in. He's like... Very busy at his work. 
Wow, that is a super ultra book from Happel. I want that. Well, that guy's using it. How can I help you? This guy is very nonchalant about me walking in here. Okay, I'm gonna wait till Tanny gets back to go through that so she can read that. Uh, okay, I cannot open this even by chance. Locked. Locked. Office cabinet, but it is closed. Pity. Closed? Well, open it. Okay. Air conditioning vents. Air conditioning vents. This one wobbles a bit. Blue chairs. Blue. Chairs blue, doodle doo. Pink brown chairs, mostly likely from Ikea. And there we go. That's Europe. Map of the world as it once was. Was it not beautiful? Well, that's a map of... What did you find? Part of the what world. did you find? Sassas. <laughs> yeah. Postmodern art. I could paint that myself. <laughs> uh, fluorescent lamp, but only one tube is shining. Fluorescent lamp, there's a small spider crawling inside. Fluorescent lamp in the lab. Is that a person? Yep. I waited to talk to him. Okay, what happened here? A few hours ago, after the antidote was successfully tested, there was an explosion on the third underground floor of the lab, which destroyed the data center. Sadly, I was unable to salvage anything. Fortunately, my lab is resistant to destruction. There's just no life support. Oh, no. My name is Derek Norman Thlumhadar. Thlum Thlumadar. Thlumadar. And I am one of the developers of the antidote. I was involved in the entire development. There were 15 people on our team. Those who did not die in the explosion in the central laboratory were probably poisoned by the chemicals that entered the ventilation system or died when the containment was breached and the CO2 tank was destroyed. Due to the probable contamination of my DNA, I've been excluded from the excavation and must recover any data that Evacuation. that will can be. Whoa, that doesn't make any sense. I, that data that will, oh, recover any data that will can be recovered and submit it onto onto that'd be one word, right? Onto the CAC for further research that we don't have to start from. No, scratch. it wouldn't be one word. No, onto, onto. the CAC okay. for further research. Okay, so he is uh, has a death sentence, and he's just trying to do as much as he can before he's dead. Mm. Dedicated scientist. Is that cool. everything? That was every answer? Yeah. I want that. From Happel. <laughs> Did we look at the... There's not, nothing in here. Like literally, it's just uh, story, so, sorry. Sorry, what did he say? There's something died? What, what do we have to do? What did, what did that tell us about? Um, well, he just said So bad things happened here. We're probably poisoned by chemicals that entered the ventilation system. Okay. No, well, no, no, go back. So, oh. so something entered the ventilation system. Power and backup generator outages, poison air, collapsed bedrock. That's who he is. There was an explosion on the third floor. Destroy the data center. It's unable to salvage anything. But so uh, that... but that implies then that the antidote is on the third floor. Yes. yes. There's no life support. So we have to get the life support going. Okay, because I was trying to figure out There's what that's trying. You flipped through it so fast. I don't know what it was telling us to do. Mm. What are we trying to do? All the things. No, but Fix what are the, the things? things? <laughs> Fix it all. We have to get our suit on. Do we have a suit? Yeah, okay. we need one, but we can't get in there because it's locked. There's an the access questions trunk. change. You have to press each of the number keys several times. Oh my God! What? <laughs> yeah, I told you. You're flipping through it so fast. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, you tell me what to press. No, no, I, I just you went through it so fast. I didn't even get get a chance to read. So a few hours after the antidote. Well, I read it out. Well, it... okay, fine. There's no life support, so do we have to restart the life support? Uh, I'm guessing that's one of our tasks. Yeah. Look at number one now. How do I get to the lab? Oh, I see. There you see. go, yeah. Oh my god, it's changes. Yes. Like, depending on what is 
what you first pay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. An authorization authorization card and a special suit to gain access. The rest of the complex has been buried. This is the only room that has a fully functional computer and several database servers. So there you go. Like he's, he he goes through it so fast. It's like you have to figure out what to do Don't try to get them on, on your side. Yes. Stop I'm it. I'm getting them on my side. <laughs> you have to read everything. If you if you ever <laughs> I am that person who played Skyrim and read every single book. Oh my god, what a waste of time. <laughs> every book. <laughs> read, read the lusty, uh, what did lusty maiden? Lusty, <laughs> whatever, <know>. it is. <laughs> whatever, whatever <laughs> came book? up, I'm like, I have to read this. There could be something important in there. Good. No, I didn't read it. What, what was the question? Uh, I did it. I did see some activity a few times, but it was always terminated after a few seconds. Like, it's like someone tried to reply, but there was a technical problem. What was the question? No, you can't go back because the go. questions change. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Come okay. On. Okay. How do I get to the lab? Authorization card. Okay, yeah. Have you contacted the CSC headquarters? Yes, but okay. Thank you. Then two. What happened to your colleagues? Oh, Creed did not. Did, did not survive. <laughs> oh, Creed. Ah, uh, Creed. Okay. Two. Are the CAC still active? They should. Mm, so they'll they'll murder anything that uh, comes close to the dome. Okay. Mm. Okay. I still don't quite understand how we survived, but... Why did the security team intervene? Thank you for subscribing, TM Events! Yay! Although the security team blocked off the damaged part of the complex before the evacuation, the subsequent shaking of the collapse and bedrock destroyed everything. No one else was able to get out. Power and backup generator outages, along with poisoned air, completed the work of destruction. I don't see any dead bodies here. Before the complex completely closed, there was an attempt by the CAC to resume operations and research. All tissue was destroyed to prevent the possible spread of the mm. disease. I'm the only survivor. Why are you still here? Yeah, so he's there to recover data. Will the vaccine be completed? Still hope to complete the really? development based on the ATR80 version of the fully functional antibody. ATR80. Okay. Memorize that. <laughs> I can help with this. I am hopeful of success. My life no matter how longer matters. My family died in the first days of the mm. I found some scraps of a diary. Whose was it? Those are probably remarks my colleague Creed. Creed. He assisted me in the tests and was a vital part of the development. Unfortunately, Colonel Kowalski was assigned to oversee the development. I think I know Kowalski. He was a CAC agent. Yes, sir. A few hours before the explosion, he was overseeing the testing. Hmm. Seemed unfocused and acted strangely. When I put it in context, the whole surveillance thing, the mystery surrounding him and the ending, I think he definitely had a hand in it. In the explosion. Okay, Kowalski. Hmm. How do I get into the closed section of the lab? Creed isn't working in paper products anymore since nope. RC70. <laughs> yeah, he's always shifty. Isn't Kowalski from... Um, Kowalski. Uh, uh, Colonel Kowalski. No, not Colonel. Kowalski is from um, the dude. Uh, isn't it? Isn't that Kowalski? No. Kowalski. What's the name of... Um, ah, he's from something. I can't remember. Monsters, Inc. Yes. Yeah. yeah Monsters, true. Inc. Yeah, yes. Kowalski. There's the code. Uh, Can you type it into the chat 790126 can you type sure. it in because we need to to get into thank you chelsea Dunn Yay. there's one in stargate sg1 okay kowalski and stargate okay enter the suit room and a code to turn the base self-destruct don't mix them up here's the card and the code 
Let me finish my work. Thank you. So this card blows up the whole place, but also gets you a suit. <laughs> Anything else? Well, now we talk to him, might be able to open something. Close. You have a key. Oh, that's a door key, though. Uh, that's just... What's the, um... The chair is nothing? Because we all think the chair, chair is very chair su something? suspect. Yeah. It is suspect. RC70. Chair is blue. Doodle do. <laughs> Pink brown chairs, most likely from Ikea. Very nice. Postmodern art. Can't take that. Gray sideboard nice. table. Skillful work. Mag on the blue chair. What? Mag? It's not mag. Magnifying glass. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> People well. are obsessed with the chair. No. No. Reveals nothing. Hi, hi, kitty. Hi. What are you doing? You getting hungry again? I think there's a hungry cat. Are you hungry? Unlocked. Do we still have to punch it in? No. Nope. Oh, we have oh, it Oh, thank you, RC Sunny! Woo! Kitty time! Ding, 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 ding! <sighs> no, no, I gotta get, I gotta get the stuff first, cause... I'm gonna shut the door. This cat has a chance. Okay. Oh, cat's over here. A free one. Sorry, sorry. Oh, who got that? Sprite did. He doesn't oh. count. Here, here. Okay. You ready? Ready? Go. Oh. One for Sprite. One for Atari. It's tied up. Thank you, RC70. Thank you. Two oh. one for Sprite. <laughs> Making it hard on Sprite. I'm trying you? to. He's pretty, pretty fast, though. Oh, three one for Sprite. Three two for Sprite. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh back, back leg. Foot. Doesn't count. Four two for Sprite. Tar's distracted by something on the wall. And he's doing nothing. Oh, oh five three. Both rang at the same time. I just find Sprite swallows it whole. He's so Background quick. Background music for the treat game. 6-3 for Sprite. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. He's lost it. Good. Ring the bell. Atari catch up. Oh, 5-4? Uh, 6-4. Six, 7-4. Four. 6-4. Six. Se four. Six, four. He just rang it. No, he just got one. He just got 6-4. Okay. 6-4. Six, 6-5. Four. Six, Six five for Sprite. Sprite, are you getting more? There you go. <laughs> seven five for Sprite. Seven six for Atari. Oh my God, you're doing so well. You even batted it out of the air. Eight six for Sprite. Nine six for Sprite. Whoa, just pulled ahead. Nine seven for Atari. It's gonna. It's. Game point 10! Oh my goodness! 10 7. Alright, and the consolation prize for Atari. Good kitties! Good kitties! Good kitties Thank all you, RC70. Around. You're about halfway through. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. We're gonna get to the end? We could. <laughs> we'll see. There's no saving in this game. Yep. So we've got the suit. Okay. So can you go to the right? The danger zone. Can you go to the right? No. There's nothing there. Okay, so now you can go into the danger zone. The dramatic music really sells it. Hey, the D train. So now I just have the. Mm. Still can't go in there. Mm. No, can't get to the generators. I'm guessing they're working anyway, so. And that's. No saving the game. Ouch, says Vitoko. Yep. Yep. I mean, we've we've powered through it pretty good, so yeah, it's... you can do this in one sitting. I think, yeah, if this is halfway. So we have the suit on. Now we should be able to go in here. Yes. Oh, that can. can. Thank you. Thank you. It's tiny. You can go. see it, can't you? That's okay. We've we haven't just done been through anything rooms. new. We've, so. we've already been through, so. Ooh, destruction. Music has changed. No, oh, I didn't even read it. How do we get out? What? Oh, my God. 
Okay, there, now I can read it. A reactor maintenance room. There's a blown up reactor cooling, cooling tank. The room is damaged by fire. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's start with the mundane. Non-functioning fluorescent lamp. A broken light. This one might might work, but it does not. Dad missed the tree time. What was the score? It was like 10-7, I 10, think. 10-7. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Atari's getting better. He's just not as competitive, but... Block of C4. Ooh, C4 explosive. A piece of radioactive sausage. Uh, actually an unidentifiable part of the installation. Mm. Radiation sign. A hole in the cooler. Regulating rod. It's not regulating much now. A pipe for coolant. That is just destroyed. A piece of a girder. Mm. Ring ceilings. Just a mess of things. A piece of girder. What, uh, is, is the crack in the wall? Is there anything there? Twisted part of the bottom of the pipe. A gully in the rock. Caused by an explosion. Yeah. And then up to the top there? Nothing? No. no. Far right? No. Oh, kid! Pipe for exhausting of hot steam. Damaged pipe for heavy water. No, you just had a ton of treats. No, you ate so much, Ken. Uh, NO2 reservoir. It did not withstand the explosion of reactor and has burst open. Liquid nitrogen is leaking. Mm, oh, it is. Careful. What is that on the ground? You picked up a detonator. Oh, you got an Ooh, explosive. Ooh, C4 and a detonator. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, some pipe. A pipe. Serving for letting NO2 in and out. Okay. And, it, and only working fluorescent lamp. The light does not shine. A non-functional fluorescent lamp with the, with the cover falling off. Control panel. Controls NO2 level in the tank. Well, it's going to say pretty empty right now. Masonry from burnt bricks is visible under the shattered mm. plaster. Hmm. A crack in the plaster. I really right. don't have any tools anymore. <laughs> Nostalgic detonator, C4. This is a little more sex <laughs> than a blue chair. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hi. Hi. What do you want? Okay. Uh, <sighs> don't think I can, can do anything. Look at it. That's you can magnifying. probably explode it, but I don't think you want to yet. No. You probably need to figure out what you need to do first. So, then there's more to the right. Uh, oh, uh. A locked wardrobe. Key! Always use the key. Coolant supply pipe, pipe for heavy water drainage, a broken table fan, beautiful white small table probably purchased in Ikea, a locked wardrobe, a blocked left door, what is this? You took a battery operated dosimeter, I'm not sure what that is. Um, it, How much radiation you have? Yeah, I believe so. Personal dosimeter, battery's missing. Well, that's Need a, battery, then. a clue. A shockwave blew the door open. Funny. Lock left door. Kittens, need to get up from there. What's the second and fourth items? Uh, oh, C4 and a detonator. Plastic explosive C4. Yeah. Instant, the instantaneous electric detonator. Wow. Oh, you found the treat. Good kitty. Oh, you found the one you lost? Yeah, a long time ago. Last oh, time. Funny cat. Oh, computers. Server, Server room. room. There's a computer connected to two, so two tall racks. Oh, it's problems. Computer has problems. Lights first. Damage fluorescent. A working light! This one works too! Rack full of servers. Any of them special? All of them are servers. Generic servers. Oh, the chair fell over. An overturned chair! I will not move it. It is certainly radioactive. <laughs> you took a remote detonator from oh the desk. My. Well, that's better than an instantaneous detonator. Unless we're willing to sacrifice ourselves. A little PC mouse. Oh, cute. A terminal screen asking you to enter the password. Okay. Uh, no. no not no. yet? No. Auto destruction sequence? Oh my I god. I think we may want to do other things first. Escape? Leave? Oh, down, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Down. Yeah, before we suddenly detonate everything. An electric socket. Okay. Well... We can terminate everything when we're cool with doing that. That's for sure. Um, the mm. scientist guy did say that. Uh, now it is safe to start the sequence, says Pseudo Graphics. Really? 
Okay. Rather than us wandering, running around, finding nothing, and then having okay. to go back. Thank you. Okay. What's the number again? Kitten. You can't go over there. Can't go over there. Stay down on the ground, please. It is 790126. Does the code change every game? I hope so. Pseudographics? <laughs> okay. Ready? Because we're giving it away. 60 seconds. Oh, my God. No! Oh, we weren't supposed to do that? We're now it that. is safe to start the sequence? And now he goes, no. Oh, it doesn't change. Oh, oh my God. So we're, what, are we, what are we supposed to do? Uh, go back to the scientist room, I'm guessing. Where's that? It's on the second floor. Uh, do you have to leave the building? Leave the entire building? Oh, maybe? yeah, let's leave the building. How do we get out? Remember? Yep, they're up. Maybe go to... Here? Yeah. Should we explode this tree? No. <laughs> oh, should we explode the um, pile of rocks? Wait until the timer goes off. Anywhere outside. Oh, You're okay. safe here. Okay, that Let's makes sense. Let's go watch the city then. Or watch... Yeah, I don't know. Watch the city. Four, three, two, one! Anything. Okay. You survived the explosion somehow. Blast the tree. So that's all the same. So we should check what's going on in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Nope. Can't go anywhere. Nope. Oh, you killed you killed the dude. Uh he well, he gave us the thing to do. <laughs> There's he nothing wanted in to here. die. He wanted to die. Sadness. Maybe he maybe he ran away. He could have. Okay, so now. Uh there's the tree, and then there's a pile of rocks. It's also these things. I have to check all these things again. R.I.P. Mike Nesmith. So, <laughs> so did he look like Mike, Mike Nesmith? Oh. <laughs> Maybe you have to explore the rat. No. Maybe. Oh. He doesn't care about me. So, what do people think? The, probably I the think tree. it's the tree. I think it's the tree, too. Seems like overkill. Explode the tree to make a bridge! It seems like overkill. So, you put that on the tree. Yep. And then. And this on the, the thing. And then run away. <laughs> far, far away. <laughs> and use... Oh, we don't have batteries. No, click it. Oh, this is this has batteries. Hmm. That's too far, I think. Oh. Oh, okay. Nearby. Maybe you have to be in the same space then. Yeah. Turn it. Yeah. Can we do it on the same screen? No! No! Don't do that. Okay. Isn't this the thing that says it is off? Battered? Can you turn it on? Like hit a button? Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now am I too close? I'm gonna go one more away. I'm scared. <laughs> too far away. No, no sig. sig. Ah, ah, okay. That makes sense. Can, there you go. Try there. Look at he's watching the mouse cursor. Okay, there we go. We're close enough. Nice. You have fired the explosive. Still seems like overkill for a tree. Yay! All that for a tree. <laughs> Still need batteries for this. Personal dosimeter. Fallen tree. Part two. <laughs> nice. When I crossed the tree over the chasm, I headed for the city. The road was out of the question due to the increasing CAC interference. I didn't want to take any chances. I took the forest path and then the path to reach the suburb. Explosions echoed from all sides and the air rippled with heat. To think that there used to be children running around in green lawns everywhere, passing between the houses. It was a sad sight. I headed towards the city. I weaved between houses, gazebos. <laughs> hiding behind burn cars, lampposts, and mailboxes. I made it to the first protection zone. It consisted of a shield decoding a DNA pattern. Hmm. 
uh, unless it was damaged. Uh, the passage was clear. I got through without a problem and headed to the center of the city where the CAC building was and, as I hoped, where I would find Colonel Kowalski. Unfortunately, I failed and I was captured in prison. <laughs> oh. The end. Oh, the classic prison cell. This nice. is usually where you start yeah, in a game. Yeah, very true. You have to kill a few rats to get out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the bars are even on the lights. Explosions are echoing all around and the air is shimmering. When looking at the horizon, there is not a single area where there would not be a bursting explosion or burning fire. It is a sorrowful view. Oh. Oh, we're just looking out. Mm -hmm. just, just looking. Out the window. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful graphics. Yeah. Nice ceiling. There's a pillow. It's full of fleas. I'm no. not lying there. Oh, no. Full of fleas. Anything under it? No. I'll have to look at all these rocks in a second. The hot water does not flow at all, and the cold water only drips. Well, it is a post-apocalyptic jail. Mm -hmm. I do not think anyone has ever washed it. Mm. There's still enough toilet paper. Yeah. Definitely something in the back of the toilets! Given what is floating in it, the pipe is clean. <laughs> there is still enough toilet paper. Well, that's that's something. Time to look. There we <gasps> go. Old escape tunnel. Woo, escape tunnels. Well, old is just as good as anything else. Let's just make sure we uh, looked at everything. What is this? Looking through the bars? No. Cell door. Mm. Else before we leave. Is that dot in the wall? Nothing. Shawshank, your way out of there. Yeah, you gotta yep. dig it out with a spoon. Stone, <laughs> a stone chisel. Yeah. That's right. A narrow tunnel in the bedrock. In a bedrock, you can feel an unpleasant smell of dampness. Mm -hmm. You can feel the smell. It's so damp. Anything? Or just a passage. The passageway of smelly dampness. There's an obstacle in the tunnel. Oh, yeah, we, we have nothing on ourselves. Escape tunnel is blocked by an obscure mechanical lock. What are we trying to do? <laughs> Unlock it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's one of these one horrible of these things. things. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's. I know you. Uh, if you just keep at it, you'll figure it out. But pretty much. Connect four. <laughs> Woo! The lock has been deactivated, and the path is clear now. Dramatic poo covered escape incoming with thunder and lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, and oh. Bones, someone didn't quite make it. End of the tunnel. A skeleton is lying on the ground. Now I know who had clogged the toilet. <laughs> didn't quite make it. Somehow he made it past the password, rearmed it, and then died here. What? What has he got here? Crowbar. Ooh, I like crowbars. Excellent. Nothing else? It's good enough for Half Life 2. It's good enough for us. Light. Oh God, those eyes, those spider eyes. <laughs> yeah. There's a conventional bulb here. It's not very economic. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a halogen? Dr draining all the power. Yep. Anything else? Or the crowbar is how we get out of here. I think we're good. Maybe you uh, smack up the toilet. Examine the lights, says Justin now. I think we already have. Yeah. Smack it. Smack the light bulb. Smack it. No. Okay. Back to jail for us. Oh. Decoration. Decoration. S smack. I'm gonna smack everything in here now. Smack the nose. Smack, 
Smack the toilet paper. Smack that light. And escape. No. No. Guess not. Smack the buildings. <laughs> Smack that bush. Reach that bush. Oh, is that a little rat face over there? What is that? You have broken open the door. Broken open. Should yeah. be broken. Fair enough. Yep. <gasps> Yay! Quick, the guards are alerted. Ah, run! Second floor. Oh, I didn't read it. Damn it. Let me go back inside. A tall hallway with tiled floor. There's wiring all over the walls. Mm. These people do not like to run the wire in the walls. Voltage capacita capacitator? Distributor. Oh, wires. Insulated copper cables. Copper! Rip it off the walls. Sell it for money. That's right. Go back and use the tool That's there. old. Oh, That's okay. old. Oh, okay. Oh, ends here. There's a massive safety door. Electric wall box. Second floor. Electronic door lock. It is inactive. Got some symbols. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, something, something, something. That's for as far as my knowledge goes of those of Greek alphabet. Empty card reader slot. Well, we need a card then. And a code. Possibly. Possibly. Door open? No. Not a well guarded uh, prison. Oh, outside world. Oh, I didn't read it again. The end of the hallway. Back door of the building is secured by an electronic lock. Power dis lock power distribution box. Electronic lock. These cables connect the control panel with the distribution box. Mm. Oh, can I look at the door? Mm. Look at all these things. Vinding Liana. Liana? Smash the box. Oh yeah, that's coming. A bridge not, <laughs> over a rock depression. It's not about how much stock you have, it's about how much copper wire you can get out of the building. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so your pride opened the box and nice. destroyed the inside. Forced opened power distribution box. All the wires are torn. Excellent. Can I do anything with that? Deactivated. You're next to the building. Oh, but you can't get through the security door. Is this deactivated? Inactive. That's what it said before. Okay. So you probably need to go back at some point. Yes. Let's exit. I guess we just do this. Grassy bottom of a rocky pass. Yes. Are we going to try and get our way through this whole game? And yes. Ultima after this? Uh, yeah, we're going to play all of Ultima as well. <laughs> just, Ultima I'm just is, checking in. Yeah. I'm just checking in. Ultima is not a finished game. We're just okay. going to kind of look at it. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Carl G, uh, I think, was a little... Um, Sad that they weren't going to last to Ultima tonight. Oh, <laughs> well, you can watch it later. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play. All You're quite close to the end, says Pseudo Graphics. Okay, good to know. Good, good to know. know. Yeah, because uh, Ultima takes about 55 hours. <laughs> so no. Follow that up with Ultima. Yeah. Grassy bottom of a rocky pass. Another vinding. Vinding. A vinding short Liana. vinding. The longest vinding Liana. A chunk of moss. A chunk of moss. A chunk of moss. I love it. I love it. <laughs> ZPH <laughs> after dawn, says RC70. Yeah. Yawn. Yeah. A chunk of moss. One of these chunks of moss is going to be something. A chunk of moss. Random rocks. <laughs> oh, oh. See? Small stone just lying by the side of the path. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. A bridge over a rock. Okay, there's literally nothing here. Unless I can go up. Oh, no, that's just the... The pass, path is slightly narrowing. Lianes? How do you say that? Lianes? Are hanging from the rainforest on top of Rocky Cliff. Biggest of the four bushes. Yeah. Ah, uh, no troubled water. Oh, RC send me. Yeah. Ah, uh, nostalgic. I think I'll take that advice to watch the rest on VOD early day tomorrow. Well, thank you for, for joining us. Yes, Nostalgic. thank you. Have a good night. It is an impressive game. We're having so much fun playing this. Oh, my God. Thank yeah. you, Pseudo Graphics. I love oh. point-and-click games. Yep. 
Especially ones like pared down like this, mm -hmm. where it's just like, just click. Is that a piece of green rope? Oh, I can't reach it. Where'd my crowbar go? Dang, I my crowbar back. Oh, but the crowbar didn't die, did it? Climb the lianas, says Vitoko. Can yeah. you go up? No. No not, up? No, no up, up yet. No, sadly. Just vines. Just lianas. Lianas. Oh. oh. There's only one missing. This this one is only missing a swinging monkey. I have to go back again. The path is pass is slightly narrowing. Mm. Lianas are hanging from the rainforest on top of the rocky cliff. Mm. The pass keeps narrowing, bubbling of an underground stream can be heard out of a hollow in the ground. Oh, what are you doing there? Let's not tip over my water that you're no. dangerously close to. No. Jump in, says RC70. Oh, soon. There are small stones everywhere. The rock is slowly eroding. Ooh, is it? Let's see. Anything rock, rocky? The moss is spreading like weed. Huh. I guess moss could be considered a weed. It's all over the place. Depends what's going on. Can you go here? Oh, the right. Can you look mm. in the... Look at that. A hole full of smelly mud. Oh, no. Oh, oh a knife at the bottom of the muddy hole. Mm, you have to click twice. Can hole you cut the lianas now? Oh, yes. 100%. Cut Can the they rope? climb up? Cut the rope. I have to look here first. No, no. Oh. Because then we'll cut it and then climb up. Oh, I see. This part of the pass is shadowed by the trees high above. Two skeletons lie on the ground and should have probably fallen down the cliff a long time ago. Hey, you got anything? Yep, you do. You have robbed the skeleton mm. of a barcode card. Might get you into that room. A plastic barcode card. What if the other person has a code? This unfortunate man had nothing on him. Rob him. Rob him of his bones. Oh, you found uh, oh, my God. his ID. A name badge of a dead woman. Her name was Anki Van R Rybenitz. Mm. Nothing more. Oh, even uh, more. Cut the vine. See if the vine cuts. There's a big vine there. That would be probably the one you'd cut, right? Longest one yeah, I've ever it, seen. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. Cut it. Cut it. So you need cut to it. stab someone. Stab it. Oh, more stuff. Oh, there's something orange. Narrow pass the ends <gasps> here. You have rope. found a rope. Oh, we don't need to cut one of them. No. Rocks. Rocks. Moss. I don't. I do not know why, but I got a craving for moss soup. Mm. Moss soup. Never heard of anybody eating moss. Can you eat moss? I think you can. Yeah. Certain types, I'm sure. Some types are probably very bad. I don't know bad. how tasty it is. Just like, just like generic yeah, green stuff, maybe a bit bitter. <laughs> uh, okay, got a rope now. Dirty rope. Uh, well, dirty rope's dirty better. Dirty rope than... is a rope. Maybe go back and see if you can now open that door. Yes, that's probably best thing to do first. You have inserted the barcode card into the reader. No idea. We're missing something. What's her name again? Anke von Ribenitz. A V R? It's no R's. A V? There's no V's. There's no R. <laughs> hmm. Take it back. There is Anke. Four digits. Is that a no? <laughs> Did it open? Open! 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 Isn't that a good guess? That's a great guess. <laughs> oh, even Chalcedony Mao figured that yeah. out. Yeah! Uh, you can't take it back out, but... That'd be too easy. Oh, okay. No, can't take it out. Okay, but that's fine. It, that's obviously where it's supposed to be. Uh, need... Is there a hint anywhere else? Uh... Liana? Uh, mm. Maybe we don't stab, it. stab it. Yeah, how's this for a password? Stab, stab, stab. I'm gonna get you. Gets to pick. Oh, there's too many combinations. No mm. additional hints, says Pseudographics. <laughs> That's all you get. You have to figure it out, eh? Mm, really Maybe nice. go back to the. 
not there. Back to the bodies? Maybe there's something there? else. Maybe you have to go down. Okay, do you have to use the rope to go up somewhere? I... Do I have to cut these? That other one? screen of them. What about the one that said, is that a green rope? Maybe. Uh -huh. I think I did this one. Yeah, that's a big one. I'll just try it all. It is, it is! Green can, rope! Uh, mm. Can you try the rope on the green rope? Hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing that you go down. Oh. Is it up here? I haven't tried it on these. Hi, Cap. Hmm. You already got all the information you need to enter the code. So what information I are we missing? Do? <laughs> Was it from a long time ago and I needed to remember it? <laughs> It must be related to our ID then. Yeah. So let's get the codes up. So what is she again? Okay. okay. Von Rebnitz. Well, there's a V. Or it's not upside a V. down V. There's no O's. Okay didn't work. A V R, nope. What, um, what's the company name called? Mm. What is it? D something A. It's four letters. Um, they're, they're CAC. Yeah, CAC was three. No, no, no random stuff. Rawr. Try right, okay again. Well, he said no, that's too obvious. It's on K backwards. There we go. What's on K backwards? Uh, okay. Good stuff. Teleportation room. Oh my god. Access to the teleporter teleport is blocked by a force field. Okay, we've got a knife. Okay, what is this? Enter code. Well, we have the old code. Is it the same? Could be. What's the code again? <laughs> I will tell you in a second. Anybody remember? I'm going to look at some stuff here while... Uh... 790126, if it's the same one. No. No. Uh, um... Four digits. Mm, boy. Mm -hmm. I can look at that. Is that going to kill me if I look at it? No. Force field ray emitter. Teleport LED illumination with cold light. Terminal LED illumination with cold light. Togo 1234 zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Hey, that's the same as my luggage. One, two, three, four. Do all the really obvious ones. Mm -hmm. It's not going to lock us out, is it? I hope not. <sighs> what else? What else? What other numbers have popped up along the way? You need to find the digits. Uh oh. Uh, Are they in the room? They're hiding somewhere. There's a two. Well, 
There's a two and a three. That's uh, it. No. Go back to that room. Maybe it's they're hidden somewhere. Inside? No, no. Oh, oh in in the room itself? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Let's see if it, there's something else you oh, can click right, on. Oh, well, there's some levers. Um, oh, that gets that. Is it all just one thing? Yeah. See, there's some little dials at mm. one, two, three and a half. But there's only three of them, so that doesn't help. It's not something hiding within something? Or... Mm. No, no rocks or no um, stones you can push? Haven't used that rope yet. Nope. No. No. Dirty rope. It is a dirty rope. Please don't know. Can't use it on that. Dirty rope. Oh, what was that? Nothing? Nothing. Accidentally went Nothing over in that, the wall? I think. No. Nope. Nothing oh. in the wall. It's just that. Can't use. Can you go left or right? Stab it! Um. Nope. Not left, not right. It's just a light there. I haven't looked at that. No. Mm. Receiver. The digits are somewhere, they're just hidden. I knew it. Mm. Oh, up near the spider, use the rope to get up to the web. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe. where was that spider? It was at the far end of the tunnel. Uh, go back. Oh, in, in the, in the... right. Spideys. <laughs> oh God, those eyes, those spider eyes. Oh no. It's not doing anything. What is that? Kill the spider? Oh. No. No. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any rocks. Good idea, but no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good idea. I'm gonna try everything. There's nothing in here. Mm. That guy doesn't have anything else on him. Mm -hmm. Is this your idea? Nothing in any of these passageways. The smell is extremely terrible. <laughs> nothing to interact with in here. Oh, what's that? What is that? <gasps> Stab it! Rope it! It's just a stairs. Is it, eh? Oh, what was that? There's another one. What? Oh, maybe not. It's just the timing. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Stone wobbles. Oh. Nope. What? Wobble. Use the card. Use the card. Use the card on the wobbly stone. Do not taunt the crew. <laughs> is that a red herring? Of course it is. Oh. Were there any in the previous one? Mm, no, look again. Sometimes it is like meant to be a in the lower part, no? No. Alright. Up along the light. No, but on, along the left side, you didn't hover over all of them. No, okay. There, yeah. Be more things in the dark. Mm. So I really didn't look for spots that had nothing in them. Sotographics mm. is like, get out of there, it's somewhere else. <laughs> nope, There's not no giving more hints. any hints. <laughs> Thing in the dark. Why can't I stab it or rope it? Just get out of there. The lurking things are trouble. Grues. Maybe in here? Something to stab or... Down oh, the... get out of the window! Can you get out the window? No. no. Can you attach it to the ceiling light? <laughs> uh, yeah. That signifies the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I 
rip away some rocks or something? Toilet paper? Maybe. What? 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 Maybe on what? Maybe. <laughs> use, use the rope out the window? Let's try the rope on everything. Full of fleas. Stab them, fleas. <laughs> Stab them good. Rope doesn't do anything on any of this. I don't want to spoil. I know. Well, at least yeah. he's given us hints, though. Something in this room. Something has to be opened in this room to get the the code. Nope. Oh. Mm. oh. Mm -hmm. Rope off the bridge. Breakfast Gypsy, I'm frustrated for you guys. I would have given up. No, there is no giving up. We're so close. Uh. Stab everything. like it's outside but maybe there's something on the uh, bridge oh no down the hole isn't there a hole there is rope down the hole but it's like a mud isn't it click on it a few times mm. Stab the hole. that's where you got the knife from in the first place yeah yeah okay hmm. okay go back i hmm. maybe it's in the hall somewhere like maybe Find something. I tried this room. Yeah. Under a panel. None of these were active. Only the door. Copper cables. Can't go left here. Two, three, two. I don't know. Spoiler, it is outside. Okay, Pseudographics is getting fed <laughs> up with us. He's like, oh, fine. Do we count? Is this, this kind of outside? There's well, nothing here to count. Yeah. There is a bridge. Is it in a rock somewhere? Or it's we're, we're counting the number of liana plants? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what? They could be, like, spelling out something. Like wow. this? Like... These always seem a little suspicious. Mm -hmm. Digits? Count the rocks. Digits. Yeah. Digits. Are they One, in two, the three, rocks? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, One, you two, know what? Three, four, five, six, it's seven, the plants. What? It's the number of plants or vines or something. Well, it's like there's three here. Two. One. 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 Oh, that was mm. too many. What about the bushes? Oh. Um. Just four bushes. Doesn't it? Oh. Go back. Can you click on the bushes at all on this Just screen? Just the big bush. No, you oh. can't. First of three little bushes. Very last little okay. bush. Okay. Go back. They are ri literally written numbers. That's what I thought. Really? They're in the rocks or something. It's a magic eye puzzle. <laughs> Maybe cross back? Cross your eyes. Like, do these vines write it's just it out? A, it's just four digits, right? Yeah. It's four numbers. Are these ones and these zeros? Oh, keep going. And you have to turn them into hexadecimal or something? <gasps> okay, go back the ro there's... the moss. Go back to the moss. What That's green. Okay. So this. there's moss there. Yes, there's a bunch of moss. There's a bunch of... No, but of... The, the, the bright green moss is different. Yeah. It's like one, one, three. Well, there's there's four sections. It could be one, one. Oh. Are the skeletons holding up Five. fingers? <gasps> go back, go back. No, it's hard to. No. 
anybody see any numbers? No. I'm missing something. We're done? We're done. We're done? <laughs> Dumb. Oh. Not done. We're like one step away from finishing the game. Moss. Is it the number of moss on each screen? Or just the, the, the light green moss. That screen only has light green moss. I swear. Go back to the light green moss because that's different. This one. So one, one, five, one. Five? What, what five are number you saying? Of, number of moss between these. See, there's three one, separating them out. One, 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 five, one. Maybe. You said digits, though. I feel well, like that's not right, but... Nope. Oh. You were so close. Okay, we're definitely, there's definitely a moss. Was it the moss or was it the, how about, there are four screens, uh, right? That one That's count, three. right? Does that count? Well, let's say, let's say three. Okay, it can't be the dark green moss. So maybe it's the liana. So go back. Okay. Go back. That's one, three, three two, two, one, one. Mm. One. There's so many. There's too many screens there's to count. There's too many like screens. That. The vines are ones and zeros. See, I was right. Yeah, no, they are kind of ones and zeros. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, everybody, <sighs> you can you write it down, or somebody write it down for me? One, 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 one zero, one, one zero, one zero. Zero one zero. So what does that translate to in, into zero numbers? one? Oh, it's de it's des it's um. Binary converted to Remember just writ written numerals. Oh IV IV okay 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 go back. So I don't know if this screen back to the door go slower. So that's I right one uh. that's three That's 1v1. What is that? No. Well, that's 5 if you're talking vi equals 6. Yeah. But what is 1? Is it 1v1? It's not a Roman numeral. No. I think it's, I think it's binary. To remember written numerals. Okay, we're doing binary. Let's just do binary. Yeah, IVI first. doesn't exist. Okay, ready? I was right about the green moss. It is the green moss. <laughs> okay, go back. Okay. Is it that green moss? One. It's too many. Two. It's too four, many. Four. Four. Yeah. If you do the the, the oh, darker green Oh, just boss. in this one. One, two, two four, 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 four. Well, we can try that. Yeah. Is that... Nope. <laughs> it's not that moss. You have an inventory? I don't even know what that means. I it's do? not binary. I have an inventory? How do I get to it? All I know no, is... we, that's our inventory oh, there. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh, we have to chip away? Oh, my <gasps> oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I thought I tried chip. I only tried. I didn't chip, chip nope, away. Nope, you didn't. <laughs> I only tried the Liana. Oh, I have to do this every time. That's fine. Oh, there's the numbers. Mmm. There we go, finally. Thank you, Zoo <laughs> Graphics. One more number. Because it is, yeah, 3269. Oh, phew. We would have figured it out eventually. <laughs> uh, eventually. Uh, what? Yeah, well, you would have figured it out sooner or later because you would have tried to, sc to cut everything, right? Get those wrong. Three, Three two, two, six, six nine. nine. Are they not that order? Oh my god. Well, there's only so many combinations. It did not work? No. Try it again. Okay. 
because I put it in wrong. Six. Mmm. They are mixed up. Uh, okay. Okay. Three, two, six, nine. Ready? This is a, a number of combinations. Three, two, nine, six. Uh, Height? There's 24 combination. Go back. Go back to it. Go back to oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's too crazy. Oh. Yeah, so the tallest is six. Two, nine, two, three. Nine, three. Three, nine, nine two, two six. six. No. Nope. Ah, Twenty four combinations. Here oh. we come. Oh, it's trial and error. <laughs> well, let's do it in order. Nine six three two. Well, we should be doing it in order. Okay, we're doing it in ascending number. So we did two, three, six, nine. And we're doing two, nine, two, six, six three, three nine. nine. And then two, six, nine, three. And then two, nine, three, six. Two, nine, six, three. And now we move on to the three thousands. Three, two, six, nine. There's only something like ten k possibilities you'll get it eventually. <laughs> no, we know the numbers. No. Three, six, two, nine. There are two digits in there that like to be together. Sixty-nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Six nine two. Two three, three six nine three two six nine. I'm trying to. Do these in order. It doesn't matter at this point. Yes, it does. We're not going to be, be here all night if we do them out of order because we won't know which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. <laughs> six, two. Now we're in the six thousands. Six, two, three, nine. Six, three, two, nine. Three, nine, two, three, six, nine, two, three, two. Yay! Woo! Six, nine, three, two. Time to teleport with our rope and our knife. The rope didn't do anything. The knife didn't go away, so clearly you still need it. Even though you managed to escape from prison, Colonel Kowalski was informed that you were looking for him and escaped from the CAC headquarters with the antidote and the documentation for its replication to an unknown destination. The future of humanity is now very uncertain, as the last laboratory capable of development has been destroyed by the Colonel. The last hope is to find him, but that's another story for part two. Yay! Woo! Woo! Oh, look at that. Dear game. <laughs> Let us congratulate you on reaching the end of this game. For your effort, you'll be rewarded with some information from behind the scenes of the development of this Czech adventure game. Nice. Very nice. The origins date back to 1999, when I sketched several screens on paper with a couple of items to be collected and used. It was supposed to be a quick one-shot. I subsequently composed, by the standards of the time, some quality music to go along to go with it, which was used for the intro of On Escape. On Escape with two E's. <gasps> on Escapey. On Escapey. The graphics for this version were drawn by Ivan Straka and it was coded by Libor Wing Sermak. That was drawn. The first five finished pictures were shown in the intro. The rest of the graphics were stored on a cassette. <laughs> Dangerous. All drawn by Leonardo, but unfortunately the cassette was lost. Oh no. 
That was the end of all who worked in the game in 1999. Oh, no. A year later, I started to add to the original drawings expanded with their additional green screens and items that tried to persuade the former coder and graphic designer from our super group, Jack, nice. which was behind the top secret mega demo. Unfortunately, I was not lucky. The decoder BOL was already had a PC and super new games, and the graphic designer Cygnus was also no longer interested. So in 2000, this project was shelved. I toned it down my interest in Atari as well. I got a Mega 500, 1200, Atari ST in 2003, the first PC. After the three years of mindless fiddling, I know what had happened wrote to Frances Fandel Aura with the idea that we would make a demo Mysterion with a logo made by Ivan Straka and showed it to Plan uh, 2007 where I met Zanga PG Eisenhammer to whom I described my massive adventure which together with Fandel I don't think either of them were particularly impressed but some of the work in the graphics slowly started the code was trying to Started growing later when there was enough graphics, we started to meet a regular at Fandel's place and create and create. The design of the game was gradually tweaked and many things were changed during testing, which drove Fandel crazy. And the story <laughs> did also change. New soundtrack was also gradually cre gradually created to better reflect the look of the game. I called it sector based because the game is divided into six different graphical units, each of which are different music. There are only a few patterns left from the original soundtrack, about four, which are used out of the nostalgia refer to the original. Four to tour games. Team, thanks you for playing on Escape. Yay! We hope you had a great time. We it was did. a lot of fun. 2022. And James is getting good at the reading <laughs> off the scrolling text. Not so accurately, but fast. You're like, oh, 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 oh. He's used to it because of reading having to read out the subscribers every day. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lovely. stuff. Thank so you, Cinegraphics. I love for it so much. I love those games so much. Helping us through yeah. the parts we needed a little bit of help. It's interesting, this animation. GR8 with sunshine and black players to draw the buildings. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looks really good. Hi, Fluffy Tail. This cat's tail so gets fluffier game. and fluffier. Did you enjoy the game? I think he enjoyed it too. He did. Yes. He liked it. Yeah, it There's was fantastic. There's even a little fluffy rodent in there. Yes. Um, so we're going to quickly sprayed. look at the second game. <gasps> um, okay, Ultima? Because we really can't play it. We don't have a lot of time. <laughs> no. That's okay. Um, so Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny. Mm -hmm. Now um, we're going to take a look at what Ultima 5 looked like on the... Commodore 64. Okay. Because that's where I first saw it. That's your your knowledge of it. Yeah. It comes from uh, that I version. Barely played it mm. on on the uh, C64. Um. Because I didn't have much time at the year it came out. I think I played Ultima 4 a lot. Mm. And I made maps, and I wrote tons of notes, but Ultima 5 I only kind of kind of looked at. So let's just, uh, this is somebody's playthrough. Um, so there's the title screen. So, uh, let's see. Oh, and you can download on Escape from the forums uh, to play it yourself. Of course, you watched the whole playthrough. It's kind of cheaty. <laughs> but you can have fun. Um, so, Ultima 5, this is from Wikipedia, uh, Warrior of Destiny is the fifth entry in the role-playing video game series Ultima, released in March 1988. It is the second in the Age of Enlightenment trilogy. The game's story takes a darker turn from its predecessor, Ultima 4. Britannia's king, Lord British, is missing, replaced by a tyrant named Lord, Lord Blackthorn. Player must navigate a totalitarian world bent on enforcing its virtues through draconian means. Mm -hmm. Ultima 5 sports numerous advances from Ultima 4. The game world is larger, with more towns, further detailed dungeons, an expansive underworld to explore. Dialogue with NPC hosts more choices to make during the conversation. Nice. In Ultima 4, you would type keywords that they would mm -hmm. say, and you would get more information. Like, they would say job, and you type in job, and they tell you what their job was. Um, world interactivity is further increased, with new options to search, manipulate, and explore player surroundings. Garriott... Uh, Richard Garriott, the person who made the game, uh, claimed in 1994 that 5 was his favorite Ultima. This is after like th two or three more games was put out after this. In 1990, the game received the eighth highest number of votes in a survey of computer game uh, computer gaming world readers' all-time favorites. The game was ranked 18th in the best game of all time by Amiga Power in 1991. Mm -hmm. um, so, there's, you didn't see any of the gameplay. Oh, he's just sitting at home. There you go. Yeah, now he's, he's, now he's outside. This is just to nice. compare the graphics to what we'll be seeing in a second. Okay. And there's some combat. Fight, 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 there's fight. in town. 
He's talking to some people in town. Someone locked up against a wall. Yep, a must prisoner. be a dungeon. Yep. More talking. Very nice. There we go. Very nice. So let's take a quick look at how this game came about. Um, so this was made by uh, Atlin Roland, and it first started with a world explorer. Mm. Um, so he made a game, uh, a program that allowed you to look at Ultima Five, mm. and you would use the data from the DOS version of Ultima Five. So this, none of this is using any of the the programs he's distributing and posting online uses none of the data mm. from Ultima Five. Um, what you need to do is download Ultima Five or buy buy Ultima Five, mm. and uh, it merges the two things. This he made himself, the Explorer, and the data from the actual game. So mm. you need a purchase copy of this game to be able to play this game. Because uh, he didn't create everything from scratch. Um, so, hello, since I got back into Atari and discovered the excellent Mad Pascal compiler, I fell into programming again. So here's my first Atari program since Atari Basic programs in the late 80s. Oh, and thank you, Sotographics, so much mm. for uh, making that awesome last game. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And, Did you see uh, what uh, they said? Uh, the graphics are all hand drawn. We can only manage to add about three or four pictures every weekend when we met, oh. and we only met like five times a year. Uh, that is a long haul for making a game. That's why that game dates back way to back. the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The game required uh, uh, a lot yeah. of creativity to draw the screens, yes. add animation, colorize them. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, thanks for playing. You're very, mm -hmm. very welcome. It was a uh, genuine joy. It was really oh, wonderful. Well written, great music, great graphics. Yeah. It worked amazingly. Yeah. Like the interface worked really, really well. So good. Yeah. Um, like Gary's mod in CSGO. Yeah. Like um, um, having mods for a game, but you have to own the game to apply the mods to. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. kind of like this. Uh, so here's my first Atari program since Atari Basic programs in the late 80s. Also my first Pascal program after decades. My target is Ultima 5. I was envious in the late 80s when I saw it on my C64 owning friends because it never came out for Atari, which is mm. quite baffling, actually. Mm -hmm. I was impressed by Everything the open world did. RPG, yeah, <laughs> RPG approach where I sat at home with my 800XL with a much access to software. Oh, <laughs> fiddling around with some basic. Now, decades later, I can finally remedy with the power of Mad Pascal by writing my own Ultima 5 nice. port. Nice. Of, cor of course, port is too much of a big, a much too big a word. It will certainly never reach the state of a full game. What you could do is explore mm -hmm. lands and seas of Britannia, visit its famous towns, mighty castle, and picturesque villages. Some basic interaction with the world is possible. Rearrange your room, go out, go eat out at one of the many taverns. Maybe you can play uh, stones on the harpsichord. Mm. So what he first made was just a way to traverse the lands, not fight, not do... Oh, thank you. I will change that. Thank you, Vitogo. Thank you, Vitogo. Boop. We get so into the games, we forget <laughs> about all the other stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I made that... I rearranged the graphics oh, on I that see. and made it fit, because the Ultima nice. um, title was up above that. Mm. So I cut it out, made, give it a drop shadow. Adjusted and, it a little, yeah. yeah. So what he did is made an explorer, basic explorer, you don't play the game. Okay. But okay, then it's not full that, fully functional. Yeah. And that was back in um, about mm. two years ago. Wow. Um, then he has progressed since mm. into you can actually now play the game wow. on on the Atari. Um, so what you do is you 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 buy the game at um, wherever you want to get the DOS game from, mm -hmm. but it is. You could buy it eight dollars Canadian, which is even cheaper in the U.S., mm -hmm. and you get four, five, and six, so you don't just get six. Um, so you um, get get that, download it. It'll have all the maps, all the information that is needed to merge what um, what's his face says. Uh, Atlan Roland has made. Okay. So he has made everything he's made from scratch, not using any of their code, mm. and then you merge it with, with Ultima Five. Um, so, let's get back to us here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so how to get the game running, download the game engine that he's made from the Atari H forum, which is on a different thread. Um, buy Ultima 5 from um, good old games. 
that I showed you. Mm -hmm. Then follow the instructions to merge the data from the Ultima 5 game with the Atari engine he's made, and then you can run the game. Really? Um, so that's, that's interesting. what we're going to do right now. You're merging the two things? No, I'm not merging anything <laughs> live. Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna play it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, kittens, back it off, back it off. So press left and press the button, and go into Ultima 5, and, oi, oh, oh. See if I can get it on the screen quick. There we go. Welcome back, Wanderer. No, uh, nice. What thou, what name shalt thou be? No. This is very keyboard heavy. So, is it? do you want to sit on the ground? Or do you want me to sit? You on the can ground? sit on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Ultima Five. Yeah. Britannian oh, adventure. Explore the lands and seas of Britannia. Visit its famous towns, mighty castles, and. Normally it would load from a disc at that point. Oh, I see. Take a little bit longer, but that's okay. It just loads too fast. So I looked up how long this game would actually take to play. Okay. If you played it. The main story with no side quests, 25 and a half hours. Main and sides, 51. And if you want to do everything, 65 hours well, that's, on that's average. Well, uh, that's a good bang for your buck, as far as I'm concerned. Yep. Welcome back, ZPH, Iolo's oh. Hut. And Iolo is, is from Ultima 4, which I played quite extensively. Okay. I didn't finish it. I finished 1, 2, and 3. Um, but I got pretty close to 4. Um, so you can move around with the joystick. Um, but most of... Oh, the functions you have to use the keyboard for. Yeah. All right. So you can, what he's implemented so far, and RC70 says uh, he has, he thinks he has the entire series through GOG. So you can, you can make this happen. Um, attack, board, enter, fire, get, ignite, jimmy lock, climb, look, open, push. So there's a barrel there. Yeah. Can I get? Um, let's try and get, and you press up. Nothing to get. Let's try and open it. Nothing to open. You can push it. Pulled! <laughs> there you go. So there's a table and a bed. Uh, I don't think you can sleep yet. And you automatically sit in chairs, which is kind of cute. That is very <laughs> cute. Yeah. Um, so, release notes. This is a work in progress. Uh, release of Ultima 5 Resource File Interpreter. Oh my god. They implemented in Pat, uh, Mad Pascal. You're able to travel and sail around Britannia, enter dwellings, towns, castles, keeps, interact with the world, watch NPCs do their daily routines, or just have a little conversation with them. So let's do that. Let's go outside. Oh, what are you doing over there? Come on, down here. You need to open that door for me. Okay. Kitten, calm yourself. Oh, we can get some crops, I think, some food. So let's get some food. Crops picked. Crops picked. Yeah, that's enough. Um, this is a conditional release, so not that many new features, but a lot of bug fixing and stabilization, like in introduction and file structures, is better suited for a 8-bit machine. A uh, bunch of stuff. It says no copyrighted Ultima 5 files are distributed with this open source release. But he is asking for help with tile graphics. If anybody wants to reach out. Oh, bye, Pseudographics. Yay, thank you. Thank Thanks you so for much. Your game. 6 a.m. Oh, oh my God. thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for staying up so late. Get some sleep, friend. <laughs> you need a little card on wheels to pull the Atari to pull up the couch for games like these. That's true. Yes. Oh, well, a little we have, card. We have tables. We have a table. Thank you so much. So let's do what thou wish to leave. Yes. Exit to Britannia. Looks pretty good. Oh, now you're out in the big bad world. Let's try and find a town. I'm confused. Well, keep going in one direction. There we go. Now you're out of the forest. It's just a little slow getting through. I, um, yeah. Through the forest it takes two turns sometimes. What is this rock? Probably rock. Oh, no, you can go through it, but it's slow progress. Oh, very nice water. And he also provided a map in the forums. We're not going. We're just going to wander around. 
Fair enough. Is there stuff to kill or no? Um, it doesn't say he's implemented any of the combat yet. Um, but you can go into the towns and talk to people. Now this is a work in progress very early. Oh, loaded. <laughs> it's a big game, so it has to load different things, but very quick on the on this system, obviously. Oh, what's that? Is it a sign? Blocked. Uh, Is there a look or a read or? There's a look. Look. Oh, yeah. Beware the deep forest. forest. You could hear the running water when you're near it, I think. Dioskila says, I hope this game gets finished. Definite purchase if it does. Well, I don't think you'd be able to sell it. So you'd probably... And it is open source, so most likely you would just download it and, and buy Ultima 5 because he wouldn't be able to package Ultima 5 with it unless he reached out to them and made it official. Oh, a town! Uh, E? Yep. You... So this is the same lands as Ultima 4, so nice. I recognize all the names. All the names, yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's the year. There's how much gold you have. Mm. The winds, how much food. You got lots of food. Oh, it's dark in here. Must be nighttime. It is. No. Ooh. Maybe there's some... Uh... Oh, it's like literally like locked the, the the town is like locked we can try and jimmy the lock do you want to try no, that no 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 oh you leave there. it again oh there's no lock it's just a gate it's just because it's dark it's yeah. nighttime maybe um so there's stats let's see oh you're trying to leave again name zph gold karma Food. 72 oh. so Mm. Um, is there a weight? There's no weight. Go around it. Oh, well. No, I have to leave. Yeah, because time will pass faster outside. Yeah. So you just wander around a bit until. Um, it's very cool. It looks really good. Daytime. And we'll just explore the town when it's uh, daylight, so don't go too far away. There's the moons at the top. Moons. Oh, I think there's a pass time. Was there? Yep, oh, pass a turn. Okay. Go near the town again. Okay. Pass, 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 pass. The moon's moved. A little bit. <laughs> Let go. Don't think that's working. Yeah. No, it is. It's working. Slowly. Oh, it allows you to move while I'm passing, too. <laughs> so you can attack, you can board a vessel, you can enter, you can fire a cannon, you can get things. Ignite torch. Mm. Don't think we have a torch. Jimmy lock, climb, look, open, push, oh, search. It's getting brighter oh. now. Okay, let's go in. Maybe their gates are open. After you play this for a while, you memorize every Oh, key. I'm sure. <laughs> Then a nice donation. Yes, yes, there you go. Yay, yeah. gates are open. Guards are very boring to talk to, so don't bother with them. No? No. They just go, I'm a guard. Oh, I have to talk to them. I can't okay. go in. We might have to open it. So I'll talk. The guard offers no response. Oh. I don't think he'll say anything. No response. Let's try and open that door. Yay. There's a tree. Oh, you want to look at the sign? Yeah. Uh, Bell. Bell? Oh, look. Wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> ZPH. Dead or alive. Uh, Why? Wow. Oh, there's some guy in... Um, he's trapped there. Let's talk to one of those people. 
You see a small battered child, barely breathing and limp in the stalks. Your interest? Usually go name, because that starts... Oh. Ah! That starts... Come on, M. Oh, I need to clean this keyboard. <laughs> My name is Allian. No. Allian. Uh, then you go job. I fear I've broken the a law. And you go law. I failed to enforce the seventh law of virtue. Oh no. I did not turn my father in for donating too little to charity. Mm. I did not turn my father. Mario oh, is his father. I bet that's Mario right there. Okay. Hi. Don't go! Oh. Pity. Oh no. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I am being horribly punished for a trivial crime. <laughs> I kind of got Irish for a bit. Um, <laughs> Then you go name, and I bet it's Mario. Oh, that doesn't help. Pressing control. Mario! Yeah. Okay, so. Well, if thou wilt not help me, at least free my son, Alien. Guards are after you. Well, Guards are after me? Well, they probably don't know who you are. Uh, yeah, it does look very, very nice. Is this a Starbucks right here? Yep. Let's go in the Starbucks. Like, uh, you're gonna have oh, to yeah. open. Oh, you have to go inside. That's just a sign. Oh, where's the oh, where's the door? Go around the top. Do, 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 oh, do, graveyard. Do, graveyard. Oh, I think the people will be up there to sell you stuff. Wait, are we going through? Open? Up. No, up, no, up, no. Up, you don't want up, me to go up, up? Up. Oh, okay. Go in there. Nobody in here. Steal everything. Oh, nothing. Oh, West. Sorry. People in bed. Attack. Attack. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, talk. They're sleepy. Think they're both sleepy? Yeah, they're sleepy. Locked. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Open. Oh, nothing. Take, get. Uh, oh, I pulled it. Uh what is it? Talk. Push, 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 please. There. So can he get? G? Key. Yeah. Nothing to get. Usually you you go push and then it gives you then you can get to the last barrel. Open. Uh, get. Let's try. No. Try it again. Push. There's just. There, is there stuff under it sometimes? Um. Well, we wouldn't be able to see. We'll just exit. What are these? Uh, look. Wine cask. <sighs> Want to get some wine? Nothing to get. What's that? Pitcher. Get. Nothing to get. Look. Hot stove. So you can see how big this game is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite immersive. Quite extensive. Um, but it is there for you to explore mm -hmm. if you'd like to explore. Ultima 5. Um, so just look for the uh, thread in the Atari H forums. Very cool. It'll give you instructions to how to merge your downloaded version of Ultima 5 gotcha. with what he has made to explore Ultima That's 5. That's amazing. Yeah. So he is looking for collaborators, mm -hmm. uh, specifically for artists right now to recreate the tile set so it works better mm. with... Um, the equipment for uh, the Atari because this is DOS and I'm I'm oh, sure he's I just see. translated the yeah. colors 
and the graphics directly. just so it has something on the screen. Yeah, fair enough. And it looks it looks fine, but uh, but I think he wants to make it look uh, look better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So check out the uh, thread for that and uh, play it if you'd like to play that. It's very cool. It is super I love these cool. Kinds of games. And for people who love these games, this is an awesome game. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. And Ultima 4 as well. Mm -hmm. I haven't really played this too much of this, but mm -hmm. if it's better than Ultima 4, then it's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. So that is it for today. Um, I knew that was just going to be a little preview. That's why I left it for last and put a lot of time into the other one. Um, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Let's see what's coming up on the show let's see so i don't have things scheduled but there's developer spotlight on andrew davy on the 27th so in a week and a half i believe that's a friday what are you doing did you chew the cord you're a bad kitty bad kitty, bad kitty. it's a bratwurst he's like mm, bratwurst mm, sausages do you mind you come up here yeah Where we can see you <laughs> Um, and we have an Atari Lynx special coming up, mm -hmm. um, but I can schedule that for even earlier now because I kind of scheduled it for a little bit later to give some room for the Atari Lynx to come in. But um, now that we have the Atari Lynx, <gasps> we can actually do it. And I have um, Atari Lynx party time. Yep, party and I have time. A nice dock for it. Party time. Party time for kittens. Mm. And. Um, so we'll be playing some Lynx games finally on the show. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the nominee reveals, February 3rd. The votes are already happening with the nomination committee. The votes are coming in. I'm using my Bratwurst controller for the first time in my nice. 800 XL. Awesome. Good How do you like it? Toko. <laughs> Very good purchase. <laughs> it's a really good How purchase. How do you like it? Um, yeah, so we'll be not revealing the nominees for the 5th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards, February 3rd, and then running through all the games on all the platforms, nice. 2600, oh, it's so 7800, 8-bit, Lynx, Jaguar, yeah. 5200, and then it's on to the actual live presentations, February 25th. The big show. Quite the night, yes, it was. Mm -hmm. But it was fun. I like getting to the end of games. Oh, I do if too. If possible. It's so satisfying. It is very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, we did it. Yes. With a lot of help. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit of help. Yeah. Bit of help. Um, so lots coming up. Um, so we might have like a 7,800 day or another... Tw I know another 2,600 day is going to be in there before we get to the, the nominee reveals because there's some games that I'm waiting on to be finished. Some really cool games um, that are going to be passed over to me. Um, yeah, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. So keep watching, mm -hmm. um, the, uh, listing, my Atari age post and also the social media as well. If you, uh, are following me on social media, so thank you very much. Oh, I have the pieces to build another one. I think I'll configure it as a Y2B plus. Oh, nice. very nice. Mm. Yeah. That's a good idea. Hmm. I wonder if you can just get an adapter for that or you'd have to change the internals of it. J2B plus, yeah. J2B. Um, because there's some games that support two buttons in the Atari um, Atari 8-bit. Oh, I see. Because okay. natively it only supports one button. Mm -hmm. But some people have made games that support two buttons, just like the Atari 2600 with the Genesis controller, mm -hmm. right? Um, so thanks for hanging out with us um, for this fun evening. Fatoko, Chelsea Donnie Mao, Dan AVC, uh, Metal Lunar 7, Dios Kilos, 8 Bit Poets, Pseudo Graphics, big thank you. Uh, Wonderful, yeah. Yes, Teleprompter 312, Breakfast Gypsy, uh, Rendered Disco. Ghost. Dios Kilos, did you say? Uh, Might have. Yeah, old, old style. style. Excellent. Um, oh, lots of people RC in the chat. 70, lots of chatters. Atari 800 XL rules. Oh, yes. Very true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what we're playing Ranger on tonight. Ghost. Carl G, who is also working on Penalt. Oh, yeah. Is, Very which similar is to like it. Ultima. Yeah, yeah. It's his tribute to Ultima. Yeah. I think he, he wanted to stick around for Ultima, but we, we oh, ran a little long, unfortunately. Yeah. But Carl G, we'll see it in the, we'll uh, it in the, in the YouTubes, in the replay. Yeah. 
and everybody else who was lurking. Mm -hmm. And uh, so say goodbye, kitties. Bye -bye, and kitties. Uh, we will see you again on Friday for some more gaming. Have a good night right. and have a good week, have a good everyone. Night. Bye bye. See you soon.